Sweaty crotch rocket. Sweaty crotch rocket. <laughs> I'm in a bouncy house. Bouncy house. Dude, you're gonna go through the floor, bro. Oh, dude. It should be funny as shit, cause that'd be the kitchen. <laughs> Welcome to Beer Googles. Broadcasting live from the treehouse in Phoenix, Arizona. Double E. Double O? Double G. Okay. Okay. Google is this cerveza. Sir. Jace. Happy post Halloween. Yay! Happy post Lindsay Robinson Happy losing the election. Happy November, mother truckers. Even though this will be released in December. Happy post Martha McSally losing. Happy post Lindsay Robinson losing. The two people that texted me the most. Both lost. Out. You know why they lost? Because they harassed Because you Check they mark. texted you the. I'm for two looking for losers. I'm for two looking for this to please. Please, please vote for me because I am such a dumpster candidate that I must text complete strangers, please. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, this is not about poli- We're done. politics. That was bro. it. That was it. Politics. It was a, it's in the back. Hey, look, I'm just looking to fun. I'm looking to take a trip up to Portland and fucking shooting up some heroin and snorting some coke. <laughs> Oh, and, what was that? And, and not being criminalized for it, sir. Criminalized. Thank you. And by the way, Prop 207 did pass. In the in the AZ for there's, the weeds? There's two things, sir. Well, first of all, it tells you the power of this podcast. This podcast. We bo- we got Martha McSally unelected. Unelected. That's- Lindsay Robinson also not elected. And we passed Prop 207 well, we, all on I this podcast. I don't really have a problem with McSally. I have a problem with... The massive amount of texting that were unsolicited. Yeah, that's kind of what it was. I don't, I mean, I don't, and I mean, I kind of actually feel bad that she kind of uh, got shushed off the stage by the president. I feel bad for her that that happened. I she earned it. She's like the Hillary Rodham Clinton of Republicans. Is she? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. Bro, she can't win an election. Okay, we're done. But hey, we'll toast that. One. Will we do it? Maybe one? We'll do one where Salute. we break, break it down again and go, oh, yes. So we have our two check mugs. We have check, check me out. Check him out, and um, I hate being this sexy, but I'm from Czech Republic. I can't help it. Both beautiful, beautiful birthday presents. Thank you again. All the board. <laughs> you need uh, 14 of those in different with different lift goods in them, and I want to hear you do a song. Okay. Mary had a Rito Ram. Oh, uh, hi, Mary. Ram, Mary's Ram. listening. Happy post-Halloween, man. We, we should talk about Halloween, because Halloween was fun. Halloween. It was at your house. Jace. Your casa. See. Si. As they say. In Jace. the... Uh, in the G-Town. Arizona, basically. In the G-Town. The in Gilbert. The, G- the, G- the Gilbert. The Gilbert Arios. In LD12. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's the only reason I know it's the LD12, my friend. Because of the elect- electoral college? Because mm-hmm. I had an erection all Tuesday. <laughs> what? National erections. That's... Uh, <laughs> you're welcome. Call your doctor. Uh, today, we're going to talk about stuff. We are. We're, we're having fun with it. Yes. And how did... Okay, is this from Super Seniors? No. Okay. This. Is this from different home offices? Yes. Because we're in the treehouse. We are always in the treehouse. So the treehouse is in Phoenix. Yes. The headquarters in Scottsdale are the That's su- Super Senior... Executive producer. Executive producer Mary's house. Yes. The the home offices in Gilbert AZ are your place. Yeah. Where From where is this one? This is from Columbus, Georgia. What? I tell you what. We have a new branch? Yes. We have a Columbus branch? This is the East Side Home Office. Is it like the Dunder Mifflin Columbus branch? Correct. But not Columbus, Ohio. They also make paper. Not Columbus, Ohio. Negative. Columbus, Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. Georgia. Is this GB1, 2, or 3? It is GB1. Nice. I think I remember that. I, what, they've been out of order though on uh, several occasions. So, <laughs> so, so GB this, one was GB three the first time, correct. and then GB two last time. Yeah, it's kind of oh like boy. when you put the the little ball underneath the hat oh, and you the shuffle shell them around. The, the shell, shell game. game. Yeah, yeah, of course. The shell I game. thought you were doing the Chinese nesting dolls or the no, Russian nesting dolls, where one goes all. into the other. No, but those would only fit because the big would one be wouldn't fit in the little weird. one. Weird. Imagine shoving the big one in the little one. It'd be like, that's gross, bro. You're violating my rights that's as you're violating my rights as a medium sized person, uh, doll, nesting doll. Yeah, yes. totally. Of course. Well, so, okay. Georgia boy one. Yes. Uh, can we dox him? Can we say his first name or how does this work? Christopher. Christopher. Uh, too many Christopher. There's way too many Chris's. Too many people yes. named Christ on this goddamn show. 
<laughs> we're, yeah, there's two of us. How ridiculous. many Christs do we need in this God's damn show, sir? His idea is, what is the best, worst movie ever? What horrible movie do you love? The best, worst movie. I, without even thinking, I have an answer. Yeah. I, I can end this podcast in 13 seconds by saying every movie I watch is probably a bad movie. No, not Alien and Aliens. Okay, it's true. It's true. Every Nicolas Cage movie. Not every. We could rank well, yeah. the Nicolas Cage movie, movies from worse to worser. I felt we were going to do that, right? Where are we going to do that? Uh, I, I don't think I can make can we get one, through? Dude. Can we get through a three-hour podcast no, about Nicolas Cage? No, my pancreas would be so inflamed that oh day, bro. Oh, my God. We're more like treasure protectors. No, we can't. What's the first Nicolas Cage that comes to your mind that's a shitty fucking movie? Ghost Rider. It's not the one that comes to my mind. Snake Eyes for me. I don't know. I saw that's the is there a boxing scene? There is a boxing scene. Yeah, that takes place in Atlantic City or something during a hurricane or some storm. Of course it does. Well, so, Reindeer so, Games is not even I don't one that he does. That one either. Well, this is what's funny about it because Lieutenant Dan, he had a breakout role, right? Gary Sinise comes and does he does Forrest Gump, then he does Snake Eyes and Reindeer Games. And what's, albino alligator. What's reindeer Gary, games? Gary, I love you, and I love that you take what's your reindeer band. games. It's one with Ben Affleck. It's not good. Oh, I don't it's know. Not, don't don't. It's not even the worst worst movie. It's not it's, even. I never. I I did some research for this podcast. I really, I did for reals. I did. I believe and you. And it wasn't even on those lists. It's because it's not a best worst movie. It's a worst worst. Okay. Piece of shit movie. Oh, I didn't Google that. Yeah, we didn't look up piece of shit movies. No. Because Nicolas Cage can only occupy so many of the spots. Yeah, the internet is only so big. Yes. There's only so many terabytes of data. I've reached the end of yes, the internet. that's it. It's over. Today, once again, we're going to talk about... Okay, there was a little point of con contention which, when you asked people this question, correct? Because yeah. you, you surveyed people. Of course, as we, and I appreciate as we them so much. And I apologize if I feel... If I've come across as harassing, because I do it at least once a week, sometimes twice, and these the folks are always so receptive and and kind in their responses. Thank you. Yes, to, thanks everybody. Thank you to all your people because all the people you make it happen. We also uh, we we need to reach out to our crack, you know, crack research staff. Yeah, we in, should have in the Twitterverse, um, and obviously our can, Canadian friend. Yes, the Big T. C. I'll just call her the big T, even though it's not a size thing. It's it's her presence. Sure. She's she provides feedback all the time. So Tatiana, thank you. <laughs> you just saluted. I I hope your camera works this week. <laughs> also, yes. We're this is third time's a charm. So if this third doesn't work, attempt. um, it's gonna be a two hundred and seventy dollar after tax uh paperweight, or I'm gonna throw it the fuck out the window. You One can return these. it, dude. Bro. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Do it. I, Don't I, let it just sit here and collect dust. It won't. It's going to collect uh, our memories. Memories. and But not memories. Of the way we were. Memories, not memories, sir. Scattered pictures. May, may I address a couple new possible potential listeners? Sure. Okay. So yeah. we've got we've got Liv in the New York. Should be part of our crack research staff. I'll share that one with you offline. Okay. Um, we've got our friend Jay in Canada. I thought he was in the UK. I thought so too, but Jay is in Canada. I thought Liv was in the UK. Liv is actually in New York. I don't know my shit. Dude, I don't know my asshole for my elbows. Why are you allowed to speak? I'm not allowed. I just do it. God damn it. <laughs> Duh. So, um, small story time. Uh, I spoke a lot at Christopher's Halloween party. The three of us. <laughs> but we gave away a lot of beer. Yeah. It was probably only maybe... To drivers. <laughs> Uh, they were walkers. It was true. It's probably only 12 or 14. But I tried to give away 24. But nobody was Walker, Texas Ranger. Negative. Of all the walkers. No Texas, no Ranger. There was no Chuck Norris. Correct. But um, a couple shout outs. So we have Jay. in heaven. So Jay's in Canada. And I came up with an idea. If Jay, Jay, if you ever want to do a podcast, Jay and the Americans. Yeah. Right? Sure. And our, our theme song would be Come a Little Bit Closer. By Jay and the Americans. Okay. Because it's, hey, pst. Yeah, 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 we get it. Um, we also have a Charlie in the UK. Charlie is in the UK. You know, Tony of MJ News Digest, he always shouts us out. So, yeah. Tony, bro, 
we've got a bromance going. We're gonna get you it. Do. We're gonna have I don't out. yet. You do. I do. I do have a bromance. I do. I I love Tony. He's, He's your such side a nice dude? guy. What's that? He's your side dude. He is. Well, my nipple gets a little hard when he when he when his name's brought up, but that's okay. You know. And then we've got we've got a Texan, Marissa, but not the one that ran for mayor and lost by eight hundred points, thousand percent. Just Melissa, what? not Marissa. Melissa. Oh, there's a Melissa. There's a Marissa who Marissa's ran for Marissa's the one who Phoenix texted mayor. you. Yes, Marissa okay. is I was the one like, who texted me. One's in Texas, one's here, so they don't yes. meet. Dude, come on, bro. It's all oh good. So welcome everybody. It's a lot of people, man. I'm trying to keep them straight. I don't have a list. Why don't you have a list? Because you're not a Virgo. I'm a free spirit, man. Dipshit. With that free spiritness comes a lot of frustration from people who are organized. Yeah, I know. Like. Like me. That guy. Shirley. Who's Shirley? Don't call me Shirley. Uh, did you ever watch that? And well, there's a there's a commercial where uh ah, long story. I won't get into that. <laughs> Ed McCafferty dropped something and then blamed Shirley. Oh bro. You good? Yeah. Okay. We are talking about best worst movies. Now please clarify the confusion and then how we straighten out the confusion. Uh there were several people two or three that didn't understand the question. Um, so I got answers like uh, best Star Wars, worst True Beverly Hills, Ooh. which I did walk out of, by the way. So that was a fictional, I just made that up. So I got a couple of those where I went, hang on, that's not the, that's, that's not, that's not the right. And then I, another, another friend of mine said, can you please clarify the question? So I sent, I sent the Google search of best, worst movie. Here you go. Here's t here's fifty. What move? What 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 movie sucks? But you love it anyway, and you're okay with the fact that you love it. That's the question. Do you know how many that are on the list that are, I own as laser discs? It's Forty-seven, almost. Uh, probably a good a good five to ten. And as we go through some of these, I'll let you know if I have it on laser disc or not. Ladies I, and gentlemen, I, we don't care, dude. You don't. Why not? Because I, I I tweet out my laser disc of the day. You do. I have. I only saw one. Harley Davidson, Marlboro Man, Ford Fairlane. Uh, the last one was Red Dawn, bro. I saw Red Dawn. Okay. And I was now really- Get up here and pee, piss in the radiator. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about that scene. I know. Right? When I sent you that, you're like, holy shit. Yeah. Uh, it was made me really sad going over the list. How many movies I love that are on the list? I know. I went, too. wait a minute. No, but I love, no, I, no, no, don't make it I, the worst. I love that one. Oh, I love that one too. I watch it every time it's on TBS or TNT or some crap. I end up watching it again. And there had to be Shawshank. That fuck off. Right? Ah, so. ah, fuck, man. <laughs> this is like, I got vi video abuse. Yeah. I've been physically abused in the ear. <laughs> You're lucky I didn't use the stick of fury. Oh, please keep keep the stick uh, holstered, sir, until future. Okay. Until absolutely necessary. Yeah, two minutes, cross-checking. <laughs> Do not pass go. <laughs> First there down. 15-yard penalty. 15-dot yeah. uh, penalty. Or there you go. Step penalty. I was very sad to what see. I, yeah, so it made me think that everybody else is just messed up, and we're, we know what we're talking about, because we like all the movies that they said are the worst yeah there's a lot of them yeah and some of them are truly garbage but there's a there was 10 or 12 that i was really sad made the list because i love them and how many like there were some that aren't on the list that i know mine is not even on any of the lists um my, one of mine as well yes well, i mean we have honorable mentions but we're gonna pick one right for the final uh i'm I assuming i have two okay per even better i've and got Bro, we've got like 50 of them each. 50. <laughs> how are we doing this today? How, how are we going to go through Well, them? since the today's home office is in Columbus, Georgia, I assumed we'd start with Georgia Boy number one. I think that's a great idea. But just remember that this podcast is not is now only two hours shorter than it was because of daylight savings. Correct. And we don't celebrate. Yes. So this, this podcast might only be 15 minutes long for them. Yes. Because okay. we're going so back in time. Back in time. So... George Boy number one, starting off big, and I love it. Oh, strong. He's got a couple of great ones here. The original Clash of the Titans. 
Very nice. I know. I love that shit. Isn't that the claymation scene with the scorpion yes. and the thing where the guy's like, eh, 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 I'm going to stab you. And it's like, kuh, 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 kuh. yep. Oh, beautiful. I That's love a that. great one. Who, who's, do you know anybody who's in that or anything? Or Yeah, it was the same. It was Harry. What's his name? Because he went on to like LA Law in the 80s. Oh, yeah. Harry Hamlin. There you go. Really? Or no? I couldn't. Fuck. Really? No. Larry Hagman, maybe from like. Uh, no, that was uh, Dallas. Dallas or no. Dallas Dynasty. Sure. It was, I think it was Dallas. Oh, shit. That's okay. Falcon Crest. I got nothing. Sure. Interesting. Uh, but w- was also the, like his older confidant mentor. Mm-hmm. Was that the guy that was in Rocky? You mean this guy? Uh, you gotta get a greased chicken rock. Uh, is Mickey? That? Cut me Mickey. Yeah. Hey, yo, is Mickey, that the same guy? Me. I gotta be honest. I don't know. Well, shit. I, I should have prepped. You know who's in I it? I didn't think Clash of the Titans was going to come up today. I'll Who be for sure I know is in it is Pegasus. I Is the winged horse of amazingness. That's a great movie. Everybody should watch that shit. Clash of the Titans. It's got some terrible CGI with a weird mechanical the, owl, but it's yes, awesome. I remember the owl. Yeah. And Medusa. Okay. That was cool. Anything else on? No, I'm good. Up next, here we go, dude. This is it. Jumping in the deep end. Oh, boy. Right. From Georgia Boy number one, Con Air. (laughs) Start with fucking Nicolas Cage. (laughs) I thought you'd at least go with The Rock because Sean Connery just passed away. That did not make it. You're the man now, dog. Oh, God. Uh, Con Air. I like Con, Con Air, too. I actually liked it until you watch it again. Until, except for his <laughs> ha- except for his hair and the accent. Yeah, what are you talking about? The first time I watched it, absolutely blown away. Because so, it's got Malkovich in it, too. And Malkovich is like one of those hot, cold kind of actors. He's either awesome or what the or fuck questionable. is going- Right. Yeah. But it's got like serial killers and shit in it. Yeah. But hey, let's crash a plane on the strip. Yeah, and that's this, dumb as shit. And that backdrop, the thing just coming in for landing on yeah. the strip. Come on now. It's pretty badass. It was badass, but then totally. you're like, I can't believe I watched this seven times. Yeah. <laughs> seven. <laughs> it's terrible. What's in the box? Oh dear. Not that didn't make the list either. Uh better not have. That's a phenomenal movie. Right. He had right. Uh, two Con honorable Air. mentions. I like it. Over the top. <laughs> Okay, does everyone know over the top? Do you, Twitter world? Hello, Twitter world. I do. A little Rocky action with the uh, arm wrestling. It's the Rocky of arm wrestling. It is. Is is it the top gun of arm wrestling? No, because it's not a Tom Cruise movie. Oh, Tom Cruise movies are the only things that can be top gun. So it's the Rocky. Right, the top gun of sexual indecency is Eyes Wide Shut. Oh, God. For example, and 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 top gun of spies is Mission Impossible. Okay. But the Rocky of arm wrestling... Is the, over the top. Correct. The Rocky of arm wrestling is over the top. The Rocky of really ridiculous fucking plot plot uh, scenes and explosions. Expendables. Oh, okay. Did that make the list at all? No. Interesting. Would what's the Rocky of truck driving? Is that also over the top? He is a truck driver, isn't he? Yeah. Son of a bitch. And he had the I don't trucker know what hat. To do with that. And he went over and he turned it backwards. <laughs> I don't. Honestly, I don't know what the Rocky of truck. It might be a it's dual. Both. It might be a dual it's Rocky. It's a dual movie. threat. It's like a double feature. <laughs> <laughs> it's two for one, bro. It's two for one Tuesdays, even though it's a Wednesday. Perfect. Even uh, better. Is it Wednesday? Well, we voted on it being two for one yesterday, and it passed. Oh yeah, Shh, I don't even know what we're talking about. What's honorable mention number two? Blood Sport, which I do love that too. Guess who has that on laserdisc? Check mark. <laughs> Jean Claude Van Damme. I always love the the gloves, glue, and glass. Just roll them up in there. Let's get it going. I don't remember that part. Kumate, you like crying uncle. Kumate, like saying cry uncle. I don't remember that. Remember, he, the dude paralyzes Jean Claude by snap, or Jean Claude's brother by snapping him over his knee. And he stomps on him, and then Jean Claude's like, "No!" And then he comes back to fight, but then they go fight, and they have to fight with uh, tape and glue and glass, and they have glass on their clothes. Okay. And then the guy rips them off. I don't remember any of that. We'll watch it on laser disc. No, thank you. Okay, I will tweet it out. That is the the one where he's all like oiled up and shiny, like every movie except for Time Cop. (laughs) (laughs) Like, why is Double Trouble not on that list? What's Double Trouble? Where he played his twin. He had a good twin and a bad twin. Bro, you don't know Double Trouble? Uh, 
Bro. I've probably seen it. This makes me want to lean in like this. Bro. 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 Um, he's, Jean-Claude plays Jean-Claude as a good guy, and then his twin brother as a bad guy, and they get together to fight other bad guys. It, it It's awful. It's not a best worst. It's a worst worst. Look it. No. <laughs> <laughs> So, did you like Time Cop speaking of Jean-Claude? Because I, I think that was a great movie. I don't remember. I remember Time Cop with the same actor that played Gus Grissom from The Right Stuff. I think it's... And he rode a motorcycle, and then... Yes. I remember that Ron one. Ron Silver. Is it Ron Shh, Silver? No, no. Man. I'm not going to Google it. I'm not either. I remember that one more vividly than, I, than the... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, Time Cop was Jean-Claude. He had a, the, the bad guy was a beard. He was yeah. like a senator. Of course he was a senator. He, yeah, of course. Right. In the future. <laughs> Did he text hey, people on hey, election day? In case you didn't know, in the future, politicians are bad guys. What? Yeah. Cause it doesn't happen in the real world. Only Stop in the movies it. in the future are politicians, bad guys. Just FYI. Let's get off that. Dude. Yeah, we're off. We're off. Okay. Jean-Claude <laughs> is oiled up in this one. Yes. Again. But he gets de-oiled. I think at some point. It's like de- it's they, like being defrocked. They give him a, they give him a towel, wipe they, off your oil. They bro. hose him down, wipe off they, your oil, bro. They hose him down prison style. Oh, gross. Anyway, okay, blood sport, good one. Yeah. Kumate, kumate, kumate. Laser disc is coming. Is that is that what you're gonna watch tonight? You know what? Or are you gonna have to wait until the very end to make your decision? Well, no, no. I think Megzi's got her best friend over. I think I will watch that okay. tonight. Now that you brought it up. Until we have other ones you mean, on the list. Mi- you, this might be trumped four or five times. Right. That's what I'm saying. There, there are at least 15 or 16 other DVD uh, laser discs I have that yeah. are on that list. Yeah. So right now, Bloodsport's in the lead. I'll tell you when it changes. How about that? Okay, I'm excited to see how many times it gets jumped. Oh, it's going to get. It's like jumping the shark, bro. Oh, uh, that's not on here. <laughs> happy days. <laughs> it's happy not days. on the list. I'm so sorry. It's, was it ever a movie? Was there a Happy Days movie? I'm sure there was. Please tell me there wasn't. I'm sure there was. Well, then... I, I, I I'm going to find that. that on Laserdisc and then watch it tonight. Okay. Amazon delivers like in two hours. Yeah. I can duh. totally get it. Right. Uh, GB1's wife, Megan. <gasps> we have two Meg Please? member? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Remember? That's you right. Remember. There is a Meg. You, I member. You member. I member. You member. Uh, she has Dirty Dancing Havana Nights. Oh, the, the sequel. The sequel of shit. <laughs> Sans Jennifer and Patrick. Jennifer. What, so it was Jennifer after her nose job? Yeah. Well, no, Jennifer no. Gray. Well, yeah, Gray. Whew. Jennifer no, nose job. It well, sounds like Jennifer nose job. Had, Jennifer nose job was only prominent in, oh, that's a best worst movie. I, I'll have to bring that one up later. Okay. In my honorable mentions. So but was Jennifer Gray in Havana Nights? I don't think so. It was like a totally dumb, Correct. No, it had nothing to do with the original. Well, that's what I mean. It was like without Patrick, without Jennifer, and I just couldn't remember her name, but Gray. the only thing I remember about her is her nose. Yeah. Can, can we do your Charlie Sheen impression? Drugs? Are you in here for drugs? No. I'm I'm trying to find my Fiero. It's beautiful, my friend. <laughs> I, lo- I love your drugs. Are you in here for that drugs? That sexy black jacket he wears? It is. Tiger's blood, man. Uh, and HIV, apparently. Yeah, right. Well, you know, he's done everything literally and i've heard almost every one exactly it's my point claims they see there's some claims Uh, out there (laughs) uh gb wife second pick is twilight Twilight. the vampire people's fucking dirty dancing havana nights and And twilight Twilight. the whole series i'm assuming Uh, i hope no i asked and they said just the the first one how bad are the other two (laughs) or three or whatever four Jesus. Okay. Did you watch all the Harry Potters? I haven't seen one of them. Okay. I can't speak to them either because I fell asleep in all of them. But I'm just wondering if the first <laughs> one's like the best one and then, you know, they're all still kind of good and bad. Like Star Wars, pretty much good on its own. Yes, you can argue Empire. You can argue Empire. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> but that's about it, right? Or Return. Yes. I mean, that's it. But that's no... about it, right? Correct. Of the, of the nine. That's one or two. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're um, there's a there's a buzzing in my pants and it's kind of distracting me. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, someone's texting me. It's like a weird kind of sexting. Is it sexting if they're just texting, but I have it shoved up my asshole? Yes. Yes. I'm doing it right then. Yeah. That's. Oh, I put in a 
Ziploc bag first. Oh, zippies. Good job. Then, Zippy up the butt. Got it. Well okay. done, sir. Havana Nights. <laughs> and Twilight. And the first Twilight. Yeah. I can't speak to either of those. They they just sound like dumpster fires uh, to me. I saw the first Twilight. What'd you think? I was tricked. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just think it was a sunset? Wait, what wait, wait for it. So my, ex, my ex-wife read all the books, and I didn't know... She's like, hey, do you want to go see the movie? And I saw the ad. I saw the commercial on TV, whatever. The trailer was like a minute long, right? And I'm like, oh, it's it's vampires. And th- there was like some violent scenes. And I was like, oh, that's cool. It's a vampire movie. Sure. I didn't know it was a fucking love story. Yeah, they tricked you. I, I, it was totally tricked. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? They this always- chick flies from Phoenix to fucking Washington. And then, no, I quit. I'm out. <laughs> like... <sighs> the Man. only the only good part about that is when Saturday Night Live did a skit about it, but it wasn't vampires; it was Frankenstein. So they did a joke, uh, and they go, and she he, she he goes, say it, say it, and she goes, Frankenstein, <laughs> and they're in the woods together. <laughs> what was he supposed to say? Well, like you know how I, I don't in the, in the original movie he <laughs> goes, don't. say it, and she goes, vampire. So it was. They, it was a. It was a total. They totally made fun of it. But Twilight was a Frankenstein, not a vampire, and it was hysterical. Do you remember Happy Holidays from Tonto Frankenstein and whoever yes. the third person Tarzan? Yes, that was awesome. We wish you a yeah, that Christmas. was great, dude. That is one of my favorite Saturday Night Live skits. It's Hartman. Yeah, Phil Kevin Hartman, Nealon, dude. Phil Hartman, Kevin Nealon, and I don't remember the third, but it was so good. I think. Hartman was Frankenstein. Correct. And I think Neelan was Tarzan. And I think Lovitz was I believe the third one. He was a vampire, right? It was Frankenstein, Tarzan. Oh, man. I, I have to or look was it up he again. not Tarzan, but he was, a, uh, was he an Indian with bow and arrow? Oh, there might, it might have been, yeah. Regardless, it was funny as shit. Funny as shit. We'll yeah. put that. We should put Frankenstein that up. singing Fine. Christmas carols was awesome. Eh, fire, fire. <laughs> Hartman was the best Frankenstein yeah. ever. Well, he no, Peter good. Boyle was pretty good. Of in, in young Frankenstein. Yes. Okay, so we've got um, Havana Night. Did you watch that one? Never even heard of it. I've heard of it, but definitely have not watched it. Mm-mm. Uh. <laughs> It's not on Laserdisc either, I promise you. What? It's yeah. it on Betamax? I think Laserdisc were discontinued by the time right. this movie it, The came day out. that came out, they were discontinued. Oh yeah, they said, we can't have Havana Nights no. on this, on this <clears throat> medium. <clears throat> Let's shut down the medium, boys and girls. Boom. Havana Nights is on a part, it's on its own fucking plane of resist- existence. It's over. All right. Very good choices, because they both sound like shit to me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, next up, GB- <gasps> GB2. Oh. With the amazing motion picture Double Jeopardy with Ashley Judd. Wow. And Tommy Lee Jones. That is a good one. And his his comment regarding it was the ridiculous ways that Ashley Judd got away from Tommy Lee Jones. Always staying 30 seconds ahead. It does it remind you of the Geico commercial where it's the yeah. four people? Yeah. Oh, what, what, what are you crazy? Let's get in that running car. What are you crazy? Let's let's go let's hide behind all those saws. Chainsaws. <laughs> and the and even the guys like, oh god, you guys, yeah. you guys are like the worst people. I'm but gonna kill. I I can't disagree with him because when it's on, I watch it, and I haven't I haven't seen it in probably five or six years. But it if it's on tonight, I'll be like, oh hey, oh hey, what's on? Oh what, oh oh is that? Oh, is that Double Jeopardy? Well, it's because it's Ashley Judd. And she is so hot in that. Well, the She's hotness a, of a woman is not going to keep me watching a movie. How do you explain porn? That's different. Th- is it? Yes. Is it? Yes. How many times are you going to ask me this question? Is S- it? 17. Three, just three. No, 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 19. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Anything else on the Double Jeopardy? No. I lost on Jeopardy. Uh, Greg Kin? Baby. Is it Greg Kin? Greg yes. Ke- K-H-I-N, right? Sure. Like Greg Keen or something? It's really interesting. Greg Kin Band. Also, uh, Weird Al Yankovic. And, and Alex Trebek. Yes. But he didn't lose on Jeopardy because he never participated. No, he always is the winner. He's always the winner because he's got the fucking answers. Yeah. That's smug prick. <laughs> Okay. It looks like everybody got the answer wrong in Final Jeopardy yesterday. Yeah, Alex, would you have gotten it right if you didn't have the fucking answer in your hand? Thank you. I'll, I'm sorry. Wow. R.I.P., but he's not dead yet. So, R.I.I.? Rest in life. Oh, R.I.L. Rest in life, bro. 
Can I? I, I, I actually like Alex. Me too. But I just the more I watch it because I love watching older ones just to see if I know anything, which I I don't. But um, he seems to be more smug and smug every time. He kind of has these like backhanded digs about geniuses. I think he's upset. Well, wouldn't you be pissed if you were talking to a genius? I don't talk to myself, bro. I knew you were going to say that shit. Moving on. Talk to myself all the time. To one of the most movie, amazing movies of all time. That's a bold statement. That's a that's bold. By GB3. GB3. Yeah. First name? Jamie. Jamie. All right, Jamie. You better come through, my friend. Urban Cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Sissy! You better get off that bull! Fucking cowboy. <laughs> I was like rhinestone cowboy. And the other day, I couldn't think of it's Bud, right? It's Sissy I, and Bud. I need help with that one. That, that fucking movie cracks me. It's so dumb, dude. I will watch that in my adulthood, but I guarantee I did not watch it since ever since it probably came out the first time at some point. It's so dumb, dude. It's amazing. When we went to West Coast Video in the eighties, <laughs> <laughs> and we remember we were kind and we rewound. We, remember when yeah, we did be that? kind, rewind. Hell yeah, we did. Oh man. And my parents had a rewinder. Yeah, what's like, so we you take it and out it goes, and you put it in there, and all it does is rewind. And all you hear it go. Yep. Yep. In twenty four seconds, it ejects it was itself. Over. Yep. And my dad had it too. Why? Didn't want to ruin the motor on the VCR. Those things were a whopping hundred dollars at that time. Shit. Remember the original ones? You could just throw them out of a second story window and you're just like, yeah, it still works. It still works. <laughs> Urban Cowboy. Amazing. That's a great choice. I haven't seen that. I, I don't remember any of it. I just know the title name. When's it's, the last time I saw it? Um, Seven, eight years ago. It's funny, dude. It's, 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 I have to take, an, I'm going to have to take notes. I'll just send you this email with all of my notes. Oh, great. Thank you. Georgia Boy 3's wife, also known as the evil succubus. Is she really evil? I don't know, dude. <laughs> Does he talk about her this way? No. He just How? calls her that. She's probably quite lovely. <laughs> Wait. My favorite. Okay. This is my favorite part. of. We've done. Fi this is like 50, 51, whatever the recording yeah. of this. Yeah. Is that what he. It, does he refer to her that way? No, he just calls her that. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so yeah, he does refer well, to her as evil I mean, succubus. But not, I mean, pro maybe not to her face until the last... But the last, gets on the podcast. The last podcast, you asked, does... does oh, what, what, I'm, the question was, damn it, you said, uh, does, he, does she know he calls her that? I go, not till now. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the same I thing. Love, love so she, are, she knows from last week. Hola, evil but succubus. she has an amazing pick. Uh, look, all evil succubi have great picks. Howard the Duck. <laughs> That's a great fucking choice. That man. is a phenomenal Leah choice. Leah Thompson. Who's the voice? Do you know? Is I there? I don't know. The voice of Howard is somebody, right? I don't like know. a legit per like somebody we'd know. I don't know. Is Bill Cosby in that? Probably. I think. I like the pudding <laughs> pie, 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 pie. No, I don't. Sure. I don't think he like the pudding pie. pie. Howard the Duck. God, that's that's a blast from the past, man. Yeah. I haven't seen that in forever. I do remember it, though. Fondly. Fondle, fondly. Uh-huh. Yeah, Leah Thompson, bro. Leah Thompson. Oh, what some up? kind of wonderful. Yeah. Uh, what's the one she's in? Victoria Jackson. Remember when they go on vacation of some sort? Victoria Jackson. From Saturday Night Live? Like, yeah, the blonde. Uh, yeah. yeah. They went on vacation together. together? Yeah. That one was good, too. Leah Thompson was pretty hot. She had that TV show, Caroline something, Caroline in the City. Yeah, right? that was good, too. Yeah, was very she well done. She, like, she had drawings. Leah, Leah, Leah Thompson, good choices. Yeah, right? Very nice. Abel, Abel and Lisa have some horror movies. Uh, the first I've never heard of, Caris Hell. Like Carousel, but Caris Hell. Caris Hell. That makes no sense. Well, it... I'm sure it's that's a why it's a best worst movie. I'm sure it's a carousel that's ha haunted or cursed or dumb or stupid. Does it spin either extra fast or extra slow? Uh, depends upon the demons that are attached to it. Oh, is there Zool, is Zool? Does Zool ride the carousel? Yes, Zooli. Because Dana doesn't, right? Definitely Zooli. Why? Why doesn't Dana? But why does Zool? I don't know, bro. I don't know why? the rules of no, carousel. You know why? Carousel. You know why? Because there is no Dana, only Zool. But I need you, bro. <laughs> That was there a is no day, no only Zool. Thank you. Uh, Lisa had Halloween three. 
Okay. I don't remember that one. Uh, Halloween 2 was the shitty one with the masks and they ate kids' heads. And Halloween was the shitty one with the masks. Halloween was heads. Michael, the first Michael Myers. Right. So Halloween 3 was technically the second Michael Myers. But oh. I don't know. Because Halloween 2 had nothing to do with Halloween. I didn't know that. Halloween 2 is where they put on these weird, like, they were like felt masks and they they were all over your, there was like a helmet. Like and then a dark helmet? Except different. <laughs> It was kind of a fuchsia helmet, and then it would eat the kids' heads. It was that should have made the fucking list. It was horrible. Well, that's that just sounds like <laughs> that's another just horrible bad, bad. movie. Okay. <laughs> Halloween I, fucking three. I like, how did look. I get that far? Well, there's been <sighs> seven, I think. Yeah. How many Friday the Thirteenth? Ten. This are? I thought they wanted to do thirteen. They did one Wasn't in space. Goal? What? <laughs> they did one in space. Friday in space. <laughs> did Miss Piggy come out? Like, yes. hiya! She did. He's like, Kermy, Kermy, I love you so much, Kermy. Yes. Hello, Miss Piggy. Let's go fly in a spacecraft. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, Kermy, 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 Kermy. Oh, uh, may I? May I share a story? Oh no. May I? Come on, you're gonna like it. My brain hurts. Go. It's even worthy of that. Yay! So I get a message on the twits. From Tatiana. And Tatiana has a very interesting story. Anyone who follows us on she Twitter. give you the okay to share this? She did not. But I'm going to preface. Open your mouth anyway. I'm going to preface it. Oh, dear God. I'm going to preface it because Tatiana is, I'm going to argue, our most loyal <laughs> listener besides our crack research team. Besides and, you and, and I. you and I. <laughs> so the, of the four downloads, Tatiana is the, is the largest download of the four. God, now I have to go to the bathroom. Um, so she she messages me a couple days ago, and Tatiana, please, I am so sorry. I'm not, I understand the question because the question is 100% valid. I'm more upset that other people haven't asked than that you asked, if that makes sense. She, uh, she says, she sends me a message and she goes, it, I'm really sorry, but I don't understand what Ricky Schroeder's thumb is about. <laughs> and then my first response was, neither do I. Yeah, you do. I know. And then I followed it with, well, it's a really long story, but no, I sent her the that. clip. Well, I sent her the clip and the story and everything. And she's like, oh, thank you. That is funny. But she just didn't have any clue because Andromeda Strain is on no one's radar. And I told her we might retire Ricky Schroeder's thumb, but we this we're having a meeting right now oh, live we in are? front of the Twitter. We, this meeting has been called to order. Yeah, um, uh, Robert's rules of orders are up to date. So, are we going to continue Ricky Schroeder's thumb, or, or should we put a poll out for a month? Seventeen days. That four people are going to respond. Yeah, I don't know about the poll, man. I don't mind. Let's do the poll. I don't care, but. We'll put it out. You while and we I retire. think it's funny. We do. I think it's. But hilarious. I agree that that movie is incredibly obscure, and it, it was not on any of the lists that I googled. <laughs> it's it's not the best worst miniseries ever. Was it a miniseries? Yeah, it was, was, it was like hours? three days. No, I think it was three. How did we survive that? I I don't remember. <laughs> I just remember the end with the thumb. Remember all the repressive memories that we've had over the last. No, I just I'm to supposed to block them. them out. Right, exactly. That was that was one of them. So Tatiana, thank you for the question. And to clarify, if anyone has a question about Ricky Schroeder's thumbs etymology or its origin story, we're happy to share, but we'll do that offline. I, I personally am going to retire it. Okay. As of this moment, we may bring it back depending on the poll results, of course. Okay. So we can change our mind. We're allowed. We've done it before. I think it's so funny. It is so funny, but really obscure. And yeah. I don't, I don't want to lose people going, who the fuck is Ricky Schroeder's thumb? I don't want to lose people with like a five minute pause and then. No, thank, it, thank you, Ricky. It's Schroeder like stuff. five seconds. I know, I know. It's it, true. It's unusual when one of us is not talking. Marcus, check Marcus. Are you a smooth operator? Do a little dance, sing another song. I feel like Belushi after uh, yes. Flounder gets his car back. <laughs> Uh, doing the Belushi dance. 
Okay. Otter, please. Thank you, Ricky Schroeder's thumb. That might have been the last time. However, thank you, Tatiana, for the question because it's a legit question, and even people who probably saw it don't remember. Uh, sure. Are you heartbroken? Yeah. Are you going to get over I'm it? I'm thumb broken. <laughs> Ricky Schroeder's thumb is heartbroken. <laughs> Why don't we do this? I'm going to try to find it. The whole the movie. The thumb? <laughs> I think it's still attached to Ricky Schroeder. At least I hope it is. But I want, I think we need to find that so we can put it out so people can watch it and then have a frame of reference. Okay. It's not any longer than any of our podcasts. <laughs> it's a mini series. <laughs> it sounds accurate. Yeah. I just want Aaron Gray. I mean, I don't, but I did. did. Yeah, de definitely did. Definitely Buck Rogers. Definitely. Oh, Gil Gerard? Oh. With the chest hair? <laughs> and the spaceship? Bitty, bitty, bitty. And his little love affair with Hawk? His, his, his bromance with Hawk, and then that other chick. There's another I chick? I say chick, but woman, okay? Woman. It's in the future. Is she like a cave woman type character? She's the one, well, the one, no, the one that was with the guy that brought him in the first place. Remember, she's like the queen? Queen Amidala or something? Queen something? That's not... <laughs> Isn't that Natalie that Portman? That was Natalie Portman. Jesus. It's the queen lady. She's hot. Trust me. I'll I'll show you a picture. But she's got crazy eyes too. Like these. That's why you love her. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. So where are we at? I'm sorry. Okay, Echo Lima. What, what was the last one? The, the Halloween 3. Halloween 3. Okay, and that was by the Succubi. Succubus. No, that was Lisa, Abel's oh, Lisa. wife. Oh, Abel's wife, Lisa. Thank you, yes. Lisa. Uh, Echo Lima had Idiocracy. Have you seen that yet? Yeah, but I don't remember. I, that, I it's been a long time. I'll let you. I'll let you take it home. Today. Is that Just on laser disc? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> is that the one where everybody gets? <laughs> is that the one where everyone gets dumber and then Luke Olson Wilson is the president? I. It's my opinion that they are actually re-releasing it now on Laserdisc because it's such up. a bad movie. Is it, what is it about? Did I, yeah. Was I right in that? Correct. Is that the uh, right there's movie? a time machine in which oh, uh, Luke goes. That's, uh, which one is it? Um, not, Frank the Tank. Old school. The old school yeah, guy. Yeah, not Owen Wilson. Not Owen. Like, what are we trying to not do Not the here? guy with the nose. Yeah, what are we doing here, guys? I got a hall pass. What are you talking okay, about? Okay, stop it. That's a pretty good no, Luke Wilson. No, it's not. Yes, it is, man. It anyway. sounds more like Neo. Whoa. Anyway, Owen. Owen Wilson. Dark haired guy. Yeah. Goes in the future with no, Maya Rudolph. That's Luke Wilson. Right. This, but I'm talking about idiocracy. Yes. Owen. No, Luke. Yes. God damn it. That's what I'm saying. God damn it. He Luke goes, gets a time machine. Right. Luke hooks up with Maya Rudolph and they go into the future. And in the future, Dax Shepard is a lawyer and he's a motherfucking moron. Everybody's stupid. That's why it's called idiocracy. Idiocracy. It is beautiful and then terry cruz i believe is the president terry cruz he was an ex-professional wrestler in the in the movie and he became president it, it's beautiful can i, it's, can it's I tell you something that disturbed me today which is not appropriate for this podcast at all no you, uh, you should unmute yourself bro uh, i go ahead coming out of this weekend yeah i step on toes no i'm trying to be you, better i need your response to okay. this i found, no way i found oh, i sorry. found out today that the new senator in the state of Alabama is the former football coach for the University of Auburn. What? Tommy Tuberville. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Tommy and motherfucking I thought, Tuberville? I thought Mark Kelly wasn't qualified. Mark Kelly's an astronaut with no political qualifications at all except his wife was a congresswoman. Tommy he got Tuberville. Shot in the head. Don't forget that part. Yeah, Tommy Tuberville was the coach at Auburn. War Eagle, Flip Tide, whatever, <laughs> whichever one. And I was like, "How the wow. hell? How did anybody from the University of Alabama? How did all the Alabama alum vote for him? Because it's a red state. But it's an Auburn fucking coach. I don't. I don't know. I just know that. Are they not that stupid I, that they not, wouldn't he, vote for the guy who's an Auburn coach? The point is. There's two senators from every state. It's not like a congressman where right. it's a smaller district. Yeah. A senator is a big fucking deal. There's only 100 There's of them. There's only 100 of them. Correct. 
the former Auburn football coach is now one of 100 senators in the country. 100 people of 320 million. <laughs> but but everyone's just dying to know how many times did they beat Alabama? I don't I can I can google it if you want. What was, this, what was the stance? I beat Alabama zero times. I threw the games for you guys. You got to vote for me. Uh, I, I don't know. I bet they, that's what they did. And then he said, sure, you betcha. And then sure, you betcha. Yeah. Whatever Super, the fuck they know. did. I was, I couldn't believe it. I've seen. <laughs> I don't know if this is better or worse, but did you know, remember Days of Thunder? Yeah. The Tom Cruise Cold of cars. Trickle. Do you remember the, the guy? Of cars. Do you remember the guy? That goes, I'm going to black flag you, strip you down, make you build your car back up. The guy that was ahead of NASCAR? Sure. He's in fucking Congress or something. Is he also, okay, is that the same guy that was in uh, Hunt for Red October that was like the big, big, um, like the admiral on the carrier? He could have been, because that's kind of roles he played. He okay. played those stoic, there had is, that deep there draw is an, voice. There is a senator who liked to act, so I think he became an actor. Yeah. I don't uh, think it was the other way around. Oh, okay. Well, this was 80, 88 yeah. was Days of Thunder. So yeah. he he came, he went into Congress after this, after okay. that movie, okay. I think. Yeah, I think it's the same guy. I think it may have been. <laughs> Do you remember Distinguished Gentleman? Yeah. Fucking funny movie, Vote right? Jeff Johnson, the name you know. <laughs> That's right, because he took somebody who, yeah, did, who he died. Yeah, he took his middle name, which yeah, is Jefferson. Died. That's right. It was like That's Jim right. Jefferson Johnson. He turned into <laughs> Jeff Johnson. Do you remember the guy he ran against whom he ran? No. The guy that was in this, he talks a little like this. He was the mayor in Red Dawn. Oh, no shit. Who turned on his people. Remember, he was the mayor. In oh. The, anyway, he always plays those kinds of roles. Paulie Shore's father, soon-to-be father-in-law. Yes, in, correct. In uh, son Son-in-law. Of, son-in-law. Thank, Thank God you. I'm a country boy. Yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> we're going to go dancing tonight. The best line from that is crotch, crawl, whatever your name is. <laughs> crotch, crawl. Oh man, Krusty. Yeah. <laughs> How is Son-in-Law not on the list? Holy not shit. one Polly Shore movie made. I'm the gonna list. add it now. I think yeah, that only exists. If Biosphere isn't on there, or Biodome, if Biodome isn't on there, and if it's not on any of the it's list, not, there's not. I quit. There's not one Polly Shore. You not, get out. No more get the fuck podcasts. Out. Get the fuck I'm out. out. Get the fuck out. Get I'm, cl- the fuck out. I'm closing podcasts. That's two world. people that are gonna quit today because you're the second one. God damn it. The I other mean, one. God com- damn it. The other one's coming up shortly. Cool. And it's not me. <laughs> You're going to love it. We have another surprise for you, bro. All right. Up next is my buddy Brian with Goonies. Let's see. I think How's that's, that a worst? I think that's a good movie. It's a nostalgic, great movie, but it's not, it doesn't hold up to us as adults, but it's it nostalgic. Bro? Yeah. Bro. What, what, what are we doing? What's my dub name? Uh, Chunk. Oh, shit. Why? Because uh, you had a gut. Truffle shuffle, truffle shuffle, truffle shuffle. But look at that speltness. Okay, stop, please. I hope this camera is all fucked up and Bro, it's not going to make it on truffle the Truffle shuffle. I know the truffle Chunk. shuffle. I know. At the very beginning. I know. I get it. It's, are you going to be okay? No. You're all sad? I'm going to be okay. <laughs> Just drink your Die Dr. Pepper. I hated that fucking name, by the way. I was then supposed to be Then why did you tank. change it? Because I'm tank, motherfucker, because I'm built like a goddamn tank. Then, Okay. I have misophilolomia. I don't like sounds like that. Mm, yep. Anything else on Goonies? Oh uh, no, Goonies. I love be- it. Goonies shouldn't be on the list. That's I'm what just, I said. Booty I, trap. I agree. No, you're right. A booty trap. You know which one should that may I may I offer a replacement which is very close to it? Yeah. Monster Squad. Uh, I don't remember that. Wolfman's got nards. Remember he oh, kicks him? Yeah. I'm just saying Monster Squad was like Goonies too, which is like a shitty Goonies version. Kind of. Yeah. It was kind of like they were trying to capitalize on Goonies. What, would you say Lost Boys would be in that category? Lost Boys is good though. I thought so too. It's got Theodore S. Logan getting stabbed in the in the in the cave. Yeah, and Jamie, what's her name? Kiefer Sutherland, Jamie Gertz. Yeah, with the big hair. With the two Corys. All the Corys. The two Corys. The Kiefer. Right. It was oh, a great movie. Great movie. Okay. Very good movie. All right. Well, Goonie. I look. I'll give you Goonies, but it's too good. In my opinion, it's too good to be a, the worst. The I concur. Worst. So, thank you, though. Thanks for the submission. Up next, my buddy Matt. He rattled off a movie that I have never seen, never heard of before. The Giver. 
D I V E R. G U Y V E R. Guy Ver. Like what happened to Mac part. Right. I thought it was MacGyver, but it's not. It's the MacRuder. The Guyver. Never heard of it. Is it on any of the other lists? It's probably on uh, fucking Laserdisc, bro. I don't have it. <laughs> it's not on any list. Never heard of it. So far, I've had one off, awful movie on Laserdisc. I forget. Whoa. Bloodsport. It's the only one I've had so That's far. Good. But I'm, I'm, trust me, I'm keeping okay. that tally going. Right. I'm trying to remember. I don't. I have to flip through them to remember them all. Okay. But anyway. The guy. I've heard of the Guyver, but is there any synopses about that he shared? I did not ask. Okay. I just jot. I made notes and I moved on. It's you not my job. Your, I just want a picture of the front cover. It's not my job to explain my art to you. Warren. Check mark. I don't need to explain my vote to you, Warren. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was that today? What was that about? Somebody, there was somebody Warren lost or or won, right? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I saw the tweet, but I don't know who it was. There's two memes I want to share, but I can't. Okay, you just uh, text me later. You're so wrong. What are you doing? I'm looking up the art co cover for the Giver. Okay. Uh, next up is Mr. Miller. He's got Jackass. Obviously, it's funny as shit and stupid. And Jackass is good. It's and a it's, dumb good it's, movie. It's fucking dumb. Okay. The Giver is, uh, it looks like robotic and stuff. Yeah, I was going to say like androidian. Uh, I, might, I might watch that. Oh, that looks bad enough to watch. Total. What does it say on the bottom? Oh, my God. It's fucking Luke Skywalker. Part human, part alien, pure superpower. It's Luke Mark fucking... Hamill. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm in. I'm in. Hello. I'm in. Oh, let's try to get away from the ring light, people, because it's not working. Oh, not working. He's not working. Uh, uh, fucking Luke Skywalker is the Giver? Sure. Pure superpower. <gasps> one that came in my mind just yeah. now? Yeah. Dolph Lundgren, I come in peace. <laughs> Do you remember that one with Rucker Hauer? Yes. I come in peace. What's you the... go in pieces. What's the other one that he did? The other Dolph Lundgren. Universal Soldier? Yes. With nice Jean-Claude. Yeah. There could be a... If we ever have a Jean-Claude movie with Nicolas Cage... The, and... Steven Seagal. Oh. We, we would... That... No movie would ever be made Does after that. Does the universe implode? I, I think matter would meet antimatter. We're all done. <laughs> that is... Starring... <laughs> Wait, who would get the headline on that? Uh... Nicholas, I feel like Nicholas Cage would get Van Dam. It. I'd be like, Nicholas Cage stars in a Jean Claude Van Damme film with Steven Seagal Productions. Oh my God, that's that would just be a dumpster fire. We'd stay warm forever. Yeah, that dumpster it's a fire huge go on dumpster. forever. Yeah, it's like the size of West Virginia. That's you know what? Global warming would yeah. that dumpster fire would be made due to, because of global. I'd blame global warming if a movie like that was ever made. Okay, just saying. Whatever you whatever you like. All right, so um. This was the Giver. The Giver. Uh, after Jackass, Mr. Miller had Jackass. Don't Mess with the Zohan. I just thought it was a bad movie. I didn't see it. I didn't like it. I just at all. thought the foot part was funny. Anything after 51st States? Well, you like chocolate wasted, you stupid fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and I hate that shit. Oh, I funny. fucking hate When they all pee in the pool? Bro. That's. <sighs> and Soma Hayek? Yeah, but she, she was in Dogma, too, with a poop monster, and I thought that was better. Uh, I don't remember the poop monster. Remember it came out of the toilet? Remember they were in a strip club? Some hike was a stripper I don't remember in the Dogma? poop. And the, they, they, they summoned a poop demon, and then the gangster shot it, and it swallowed him up. I don't remember that at Oh, my all. God. And the way they killed it was with air freshener? I'll have to watch that again. You've not seen Dogma. No, Dogma it's is, been a long time. God, it's such a good movie, too. I'll have to watch that. Okay. But I'll, look, th these are all subjective. Yeah, of course. Um, who was this again? Steve Miller. Steve Miller does not need to explain his art to me. He does not. He does not. But he wins. Steve Miller may have the best answer on the list with his third submission. Okay. So I married an axe murderer. <laughs> Gold. That's God's. Yes. Would you like to hear Felicia's response? To the group texts regarding this. I want to hear it all. I will boycott your podcast if I hear so I married an axe murderer on the list. Exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. And she did not give any submissions at all. That's all she said. Because she hates that shit. And Steve and I love it. 
Do you know why she? Do you know why she said that? Because there's a piper down. Piper down. No. <laughs> The reason she, the reason she <laughs> will not listen to the podcast is because she, she listens no, no, to the podcast to this one. If, oh yeah, yeah. Because so I Mary Maxmer is not a worst movie. She she's boycotting because she loves the movie. See, she I'm, won't admit it to herself. I'm, I'm inside your head. Oh, that's I'm, not don't don't go in there, bro. Well, it's better than my head inside it's her. Better, it's better. It's better than being inside <laughs> your own head. Well, yeah, or my head inside her. I wouldn't want that. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, that would be like cheating. Don't do that. Yeah. That'd be uh, wrong. So you think secretly know. she loves the movie? I do. Well, the thing is, she has to boycott it because it's not a worst movie. It's pretty terrible. Who did? Who did I? Who did Checkmark get to meet on Halloween? Via Heather. Via, no, no. Via via the FaceTime. Oh, Stephen we, Felicia. Stephen Felicia and Stephen Teresa and Stephen Teresa. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we okay. I just want to make sure we got everybody. Hi everybody! All the FaceTimes. Yes, check mark like all these movies. These movies aren't even out for release for another 10, 15 years. Whatever it takes. Country. Except for Bloodsport. Well, Giver, or Giver, oh, Giver, oh, is Mark Hamill. We're looking, still waiting on Star Wars, though. I don't know which one. The the first one. The first one. So the it's nineteen seventy six in yes. Czech Republic. Seventy seven. Okay. Yes. Two. Th it's set for release two thousand seventy seven in Czech. Republic. Okay. One hundred years late. <laughs> it's the it's the three year anniversary of the last time it it released for first time in Russia. Uh, the third time it released for the first time. Sure. Yes. I really screwed that one up. It was fucking funny as shit. If, if I do it with an accent, anything's funny. Right. So. <laughs> the 45th time of the third time. Yes. Every time, it does not any time. It does not work of the any time of the sex panther. It's the panther of sex. <laughs> All right. So we have... So I married so an Mary Axmer. Axmer. And now, who's not listening to the podcast? Felicia. Over again? Or just this one? I, she just said, I will boycott your podcast. And For she, like to, ever? Today, she said she listened to the Shakespeare one and she liked it a lot. Can she say she boycott the episode or the podcast? She said, it's very important. quote unquote, I will boycott your podcast. Damn it. And she's a podcast person. She loves podcasts. Yeah, but she doesn't like ours, she said, because we go off on riffs. Uh, is, she grow, is it growing on her like good mold? Like a nice mold? Like, like we're, fungus, bro. Yeah. That's what we, we're like mushrooms, bro. <laughs> Disgusting. We start off like, ha! Ah! And then we're like, oh, oh it's warm and fuzzy. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry that you're no longer going to listen to us. We need the We download. miss you already. Can you at least keep auto-downloading? <laughs> That's all we need. We need the downloads, bro. Yeah, right? Yeah, so totally. Up next was Mr. Akins down in the uh, old Pueblo with The Outsiders. Worst movie? Yeah, I, I really like it. Pretty artistic, right? I mean, it's pretty talented. It was a pretty good movie. Stay golden, Pony Boy. Oh, Jesus, you know everything, man. Well, yeah. Think of all the famous people in that movie, dude. Gutenberg? Ralph, Ralph no, Macchio and uh, and uh, Patrick Swayze, Matt Dillon. There's tons of famous people in that shit. Why do I conflate I don't know. the di Why do I conflate Diner with The Outsiders? Did they come out like the same year? What's Diner? Diner's got Mickey Rourke, Steve Gutenberg. I don't know why to keep doing that. I need to pay attention. It's a book, right? The Outsiders. Yes, of course. Of course, like I fucking read, bro. Oh, well, I bought you the audiobook last year for Christmas on Audible. You did? Yeah. Uh, I don't even have Audible. What? That's why you haven't listened to it? Shit. God <sighs> damn it. Man. Poop. Amazon. <laughs> I didn't buy that shit. I know, Bezos. <laughs> I can't wait for him to take all our guns away. Isn't that the worst? Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, motherfucker. Uh, oh, I didn't call him a motherfucker, did I? No. I love him. His hair is amazing. His head is amazing. I love and, his barber is fantastic. And his absolute richest wife in America just by or in the by world just default. by divorcing him. <laughs> Fucking genius. Like if I look, I take it in the ass for years to get thirty five billion dollars in a divorce. Three years. Did she have a watch up her butt for three years? So she get three she got thirty five billion? Bro, half. I, I, I knew she got half, half. But I, I didn't know it was thirty five million. Yeah. Seven D. Seven zero okay, with a B. Fuck, with a dude. with a B, my friend. I friends. didn't know he was worth that much, okay, man. I, I believe her divorce made her either the richest or second richest person with a vagina in the world. Okay. I mean, I'm sorry, assigned female at birth in the world. <laughs> All right, moving along, bro. Outsiders, moving you got anything else? No, it's a good movie from what I understand. I like it. Yeah. You never saw it? The socials and the greases, greasers. It, what's the year? 83, 82, oh, 85? Yeah, early, yeah, yeah. It, I don't remember much of E.T. either, man. I got to be honest with you. Well, you know, 
There was I no watch girl. In the theater. There was the, you know. Elliot. That's that. Yeah, that's the whole movie right there. It was Phone it. Home. Pieces. Thank you. And Phone Home. Thank you for bringing. Well, if it wasn't for that movie, Reese's Pieces wouldn't be in my mouth, like, and cause diabetes in the late eighties, early nineties. Whatever it took. Mm-hmm. Uh, Golf Chris had Highlander in honor of the Bro. passing of Sir. My name is Ono Villalobos. Yes. Um, that's a good movie. I, I, how is that a good, bad movie? I'm, bad, I'm a good movie. Uh, how is that a worse, good movie? I don't know, dude. These worst, are, best. I think at, at a certain point, the interpretation is up to the person. It really the, is. What's the best worst movie well let's be honest a plot in which everyone stays alive forever until they get their head cut off and then they suck up the energy of that person that and everybody they bad. killed that, that on its face pretty terrible yeah i mean if i came up with it hey i got this idea okay everybody's immortal right well these there's a there's a certain number of people that are immortal and they get this thing where they get drawn to each other and then they fight each other cut each other's heads off and the one who cuts the other one's head off gets their chi and the chi of everyone that person's head cut, uh, cut or whose head yes. that person cut off. And then there can be only one. There can be only one. Wow, that was pretty crazy. impressive. No, that was not impressive. That uh, but that sounds like every vampire movie, too, except for the chi part. Kurgan. What, they don't cut heads off, though. They just well, they do, in the heart. but I mean. And silver bullets and garlic and not inviting you mm, into their home. Garlic. Speaking of Lost Boys. Yes. Love that guy. The guy who got invited into the house, the father. The Faja. The Faja. He was a Faja and Zamaja. Hello, Faja. Oh, I forget his name. He, I think he was the father of Lorelai on that Gilmore Girls show. Yeah, I watched that. <laughs> Do you notice how I said like that Gilmore Girls show? Like I <laughs> like I have no idea. What kind of hotel is this? It's one, of, one, 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 one. What are you doing? Okay, dude, my head got all shiny when I turned the light on. I like that, man. Get a little. I gotta get that rat, that shine. Get your shine box. Your little shimmy. <laughs> Go get your. Anything else on the box. Highlander? Show. No, the Highlander is a great movie. I love it. And guess what? I have on Laserdisc. Highlander. That's two. Bloodsport, Highlander. So which one's worse? Oh, Bloodsport. Bloodsport's okay. way worse. Highlander is one of my favorites. My cousin Jose, Luis, said Megaforce. What? Megaforce. The fuck is that? I don't know, it sounds familiar, but I did not look it up. And when he when I first got it, I went, is that the one with Dolph Lundgren? But that's what Universal Soldier is. Oh. So I was confused. Maybe I, Dolph Lundgren did multiple. Of it's uh, multiple car pileups. Uh, Megaforce. Is that... I'm Not Megaforce, right? Because Mag is going away. Well, we don't know yet. No, Mega. He, he's going to lose by three electro votes. Okay, shut the fuck up, Just dude. saying. Well, why can't Megaforce. I say that? I didn't. I didn't make anything political out of it. Mega force, oh. deeds, not words. Ace Bruh. Hunter. There's never been a superhero like Ace Hunter. Mega who, force. Who the fuck is in this? <laughs> shit. Oh no, this is amazing. Cool shit. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's awesome. Oh my god. There's ones with motorcycles and all the, these. Whatever these things are, are just amazing. Look up Megaforce and just click on images because him riding the motorcycle. That looks awesome. Dude. Is that, that David like, Carradine that or something? That looks like the cover of a Judas Priest album. The new Mayhem and Madness movie from director of Smokey and the Bandit that's... and Cannibal Run. <laughs> See, that's so it's basically it's basically it's basically Cannibal Run of the future. You know, what's really funny about this. this you know, what this makes me think this was made first. Then he made two great movies, oh. and then they fucking rebranded and said, from the maker of... Yeah. <laughs> this looks Smoking like a the band, it was a hit. hit. Yes. This looks oh, like... This, this looks awful. before then. No, oh my God. it could it have been does. around the same it time. It looks so bad. It looks like 1979 It looks... Oh, I just want to throw up my lunch. This looks so... 3.8 out of 10 on IMDb. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Oh, my God. It's got Barry Bostwick in it. Of course it does. High-tech soldier Barry Boswick with a flying motorcycle leads troops to rescue ruler Percy Hawkins. Chlamydia? Chlamydia. No shit. No, just kidding. Shut the, C-L-A I was like, oh my God, there's an H in it. It's not. It's Kalam- Clambada. Clambada, yeah. It's whatever. Clam- Cambada. Clamato? Clamato. It's delicious mm, in your delicious. Bloody Marys. Yeah. Uh, Megaforce, I have to watch this now. 
Thank you. You know, this this is really just a, mo- a future movie. Yeah, it's a future movie watching. Welcome to the educational podcast. Thank you. We're so glad we get to bring like <laughs> intelligence and um, Idiocy, lucidity. Idiocracy. Non at idiocracy. None, none of that shit. It's got electrolytes. All that's, that. That's all I know. When you watch Idiocracy, that is going to be your catchphrase everywhere at work and everything is like, hey, the switch is down. You're like, but it's got electrolytes in it. <laughs> You're just going to say that all the time. No joke. Fuck. I'll explain why, but you'll well, see Well, I'll watch the watch. movie. It'll explain yeah. itself. It will. You probably won't watch it with me because then I'll explain it and then you don't want that. You just want to watch it. Sans voice. Correct. Do you need a refill, bro? I might, but we're good right now. You I got, got, I got, yeah. <laughs> You got three empty cans. I, I like to keep fluids in me. Okay. I, I like to hydrate. Okay. Up next, uh, McKenzie had quite a few selections. Ooh. First off was Dracula Untold, which I don't remember that sucking that bad. Is that the one that I have on Laserdisc with Tom Cruise? No, it's, an, it's a newer one, probably the last 10 years. Okay. I'm thinking of just Bram Stoker, Stoker's Dracula. No, that's Dracula. not that it at all. Right. Okay. Be careful with your feet. I don't want you to get a splinter or something in, in, okay, in, on the table, bro. Ow! For yourself. Just uh, for you, it, was, it wasn't bad. It's the same actor that's in the new TBS show, The Alienist. Oh, okay. It's the, the little sidekick guy. The little guy with the beard? No, the sidekick. Oh, that, I don't. I didn't watch The Alienist. It's actually yet. a great show. Good show? I really liked it a lot. I'm going to have to get your idea about that because I don't know the premise. The Alienist sounds like I'd be interested, and then I read it, and I'm like, I don't seem very interested. It's uh, Alienist is a psychiatrist. Got but it. they don't did that word didn't exist yet. Got it. So and this is late eighteen hundreds, like Jack the Ripper time. Eighteen ninety five, yeah. In yeah. in uh, that sounds like late eighteen hundreds to me. Yeah. In Bro. In, I think New York. Okay. Oh. Bef- like but Jack so Jack the Ripper, but in New York or something. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Up okay. next was last holiday. I don't know what that Jack is. Black. Is that, that right? Is that that one? Uh Charlie's Theron? Sure. Uh, Chlamydia. C L A. Media. I think that's the one, right? Where they switch. Don't they flip flop like brother sisters and then they all bang each other, but what? not in an incestual kind of way? I have no idea. I don't or is care. this one with Queen Latifah? This is probably the one with Queen No, Latifah. the next two over is Queen Latifah. <laughs> is that I'm going to get you, sucker? Beauty Shop is two down. That's Queen Latifah. Get the fuck out of here. I actually pre cogged a Queen Latifah movie you on did. here. <laughs> Dude, minority, that is impossible. Minority Report's not on here, so there's no pre-cogging. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, All right, what are so you doing? Last, hol- last ahead, holiday, I, is that what you're, Google- yeah, you're Googling? Yeah, but continue. I'm, uh, I'm eight steps behind you, Beauty sir. Shop, fucking Coyote Ugly. God, stupid. Bro, if that's not Queen Latifah, I don't know who the fuck that is. I think that's Queen Latifah. Yeah, I think Queen like Latifah's Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah's in two of these movies. Wow. And then- uh, When does Queen Latifah do a movie with Nicolas Cage and Jean-Claude Van Damme? Uh, well, she's got to call Steven Seagal first. <laughs> Somebody was telling me that uh, they're going to make a remake of Coyote Ugly. And what? they and I was like, okay, first of all, no. Second, How? why? Third, I'm like, okay, so is it going to be the same as... Is it the same old shit with the same lighting angles? So it's basically girls dance in a bar. A guy treats one of them badly. A girl falls in love with one. Girl loses boy. Girl gets boy back. And my so- friend was like... Yeah, that that's that's pretty that's pretty much it exactly. What? And I was like, okay, so I don't need to see him. So, wait, so it's every YouPorn video? Yeah. Oh, holy <laughs> shit! Yeah. I'll just go on YouPorn.com. It's okay. Funny. It's like Coyote it's, Ugly, but naked. It's Coyote Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Naked Coyote. I could totally see if they did it like they did Ocean's Eight, if they did like a Magic Mike version, and they did all dudes, and they flipped the script. I'm totally oh, cool with that. Yeah. Give that a try. Right. At least do that. Yeah. Out, don't retread with women. Do it. Flip the script, I think. Or, I, you know, yes. do, it, do it with chan, transgender people, like drag queen. That would be so oh, cool. A drag that, queen one would be funny. Drag, I think a drag queen, not just funny, because I think it would be fun. Yeah. Because like, we wouldn't be laughing at them. We'd be laughing with them. What was that movie? Birdcage was amazing. Uh, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Sure. Okay. Birdcage? Yeah, Birdcage. I love Birdcage. Yeah. That was I, hilarious. I think that would be the way to go, personally. Yeah. And I'm not. That's a this great idea. You totally should call somebody. True. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, what's that called? Uh, gaslighting anyone? I'm dead serious. Okay. That is all. Lastly, was School of Rock. Best. Which, yeah, because it's got Joan Cusack. That makes any movie kind of a best worst movie. What? Joan Cusack. Come on. What about in- Better Off Dead? 
<gasps> what about uh, Gross Point Blank? She was all. She's a dumpster fire. Dude, School she, Rock's awesome. Yeah, but she's not good in it. She's obviously terrible, but the movie is amazing. <laughs> I said the movie. I just was speaking specifically about Joan Cusack. <laughs> <laughs> and how the hell did Joan Cusack not make it on that fucking God, new movie, that I new show you. on Amazon? I don't know. Utopia? What? Have you seen that fucking it's thing? It's in my yet? list. Is it terrible? Don't uh, spoil it. What, so no, no, no. What I'm does not it have spoil to do with Joan? Okay. Well, I'm not going to spoil it. It has John Cusack in it. Oh, John's in it. Okay. I didn't and know that. anything that John's in, John Jones has in. to, but I don't Correct. think I saw her in this. That's my point. First of all, now I'm thinking about it. I didn't see her in Utopia. I'm going to watch it again. I happily watch it with you again because it's that good. It okay. really is good. But honestly, um, can we, can I, can I like hold on to my man card after I say this or no. you, can I, can I get some kind of uh, pre, what's that thing uh, where I like if a I prenuptial talk, agreement? Yeah, but like <laughs> legally, like when I if I say something, I don't I don't get like I, I I'm ratting out. Plead the fifth? No, I'm ratting you out and then going under witness protection. What's the thing like where I where I give you up? Where I like? Okay, I'll put you under witness protection. Okay, go ahead. Okay, fuck. John Cusack's not really a good actor. Correct. But like, really not good. All of his parts are the same. Right, and I, and it's funny how we. Because we're 80s gentlemen. Yeah. We loved John Cusack movies. Yeah, but he's always the same character. Right. But he's not even good no. until you watch him try to actually act like in Utopia. He's, in my opinion, awful. But good. I like I love the show. The show is amazing. Okay. Just so you know. Anyway, that was not uh Joan Cusack, School of Rock. Where we see we brought it back. You brought it back. I, I don't know what was happening. <laughs> You're, you were having a conniption, and I, I was, was having a fucking aneurysm, and I'm like, "Holy shit!" You're having a stroke. I'm just, just glad that you press a red button. That's Do I all. smell oranges? <laughs> no, it's in your head. May I share a story about smelling oranges? Shh, no. Go ahead. Fine. Do you remember? Have you ever heard that? Like, if you smell oranges, you could be having a stroke. Have you heard no. that thing? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, I have. So I remember telling somebody that, but they're like. What does it matter if I can spell oranges? <laughs> I'm like, O R A N J. Oh shit, I must be having a stroke. Like, who the fuck does it? If you misspell a word, you're having a stroke? No, you smell oranges, not spell it. Dumb broad. <laughs> it wasn't a it wasn't even a woman. It was a That man. guy was sure a dumb broad. That guy was one dumb broad. James was Well, he was really dumb. wide. He he was obese, and I think he was having a stroke because he's like, I smell art. <laughs> Okay. You see my baseball? How come that's not on here? Land ho! <laughs> what was that? Something about Mary? Yeah. Something about Mary cannot be a best worst movie. It is so good. All right. Next up is Heather with Ghost Rider. Zipper caught in the balls. <laughs> Have you seen my baseball? Hi, Ted. <laughs> okay. Bye, Ted. What do you got on Ghost Rider? The Nicolas Cage amazing shit show. Doesn't. Okay. I do have two words to counter that. Yes. Ava Treasure Mendez. Protector. <laughs> Ava Mendez is in it, right? She is? I don't remember. I blocked it out. She's she's smoking hot, right? But yeah. does it redeem? No. But I'll just watch Ava Mendez and mute the fucking movie. Okay. And just pause it, maybe. I don't know. Wouldn't she have to be naked the whole movie to redeem the shittiness of it? Well, what could happen? We have a very vicious junkyard dog just outside the doors. Who is, what is she, 11 pounds? She is blind, a redhead, and like 8 pounds probably, yeah. She's maybe, like 10. 10, maybe 10. 10 maybe 10. Maybe 10. 10.6. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. Okay. Put her on the scale. We'll see what that. So we're going to have a little bit of a barky background, barky, but we're okay barky. with that. Um, Ghost Rider, if, if she's naked in any of it, they just pause on that scene. But I'm just... Okay. But no... Eva does not make up for the shit that that movie is. Correct. Uh, I don't even know. It's it just seems bad. dumb. Yeah. It's not even best worst. It's just bad. It's, you know, it's unfortunate. What, a, what, what a great audience. Also, she had, are you done with that? Well, I was going to say it's both Please. noise pollution and visual pollution. It's all of the pollutions. Yeah. Is it the cause for global warming? <laughs> I fucking hate you, man. I was just going to say, I think it single-handedly started global warming. 
Yeah, all of his movies. Hey, climate change deniers, blame Nicholas fucking it's Cage's his fault, bro. dumpster fire movies for heating up this earth. Thank you. No, yeah. I've got nothing else. So basically, you're clueless. Another good worst movie. That's the next on Heather's list. That was the smoothest segue, bro. I know. Oh, I feel like that was awful. I f- like we can't even do a fucking top gun high I'm five, bro. You're left handed. Well, no, or you're not left handed. I'm not left handed, okay. but. How's it going? Uh, I apologize, <laughs> everyone, for listening. Yes, yes clueless. I, I hope love not, clueless. I hope not sporadically. I used a clueless thing today. What'd you say? Uh, trolling with my homies yes, with that tweet. It. Yes, she was. It was a Bridget, whatever the one that OD'd, right? Yes, trolling, trolling with, the with my homie, trolling with the homies. <laughs> that movie's By awesome. By the way, I'm yes. a nerd with no friends in high school or, or college. college, and. Oh yeah, thank. Oh, thank you. Feel sir. better. That makes me. Oh my god, that makes me feel so much better. And I have an. I. I also have uh, an Android, so I need to shut up. According to the person who's been trolling you. Yeah, I've been trolled. Are you okay? I've, you know what? Actually, it's funny. I feel like we've made it as a podcast when we get a troller. Uh, yay us or something. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think we should celebrate. Oh, okay. we have like one troller, but they're gone already because she blocked. She, she, right? She blocked you. I, I don't, whatever it is, I don't know what their pronouns are because I didn't look, but okay. whatever they are, it, she, they, or her, whichever one, whichever pronoun the person who trolled us used is, is no longer. So I feel, but I feel like honored when you get trolled. Okay. Cause like if you have detractors, that means you have someone who actually likes you. Okay. In my opinion. Sure. Except for maybe, maybe everyone hates us. No. Okay. I didn't think I so. I don't. I don't hate us. I don't either. And we got so much love. So many people were like, it's okay. You're, we still like you. And I'm like, thanks, guys. Yay. So thank you for the kind words. Mentos, the fresh maker. Uh, anything else on Clueless? <laughs> I love that movie. Yeah, I know. I hate Paul Rudd. Wow, man. I like... You don't like Ant-Man? Ah. <sighs> I've got a weird love hate with Paul Rudd. You remember Wasn't he good in Friends? You know my relationship. No, that's no. what I fucking hated him in Friends. Why? I liked him in Role Models when he was just oh, an that was asshole. so good. What the fuck is venti anyway? And by the way, prick, venti means twenty because it's twenty ounces. What was the? Is, um, is that true? <laughs> in Role Models, the Minotaur. The Minotaur. Minotaur. Oh. I'm pissing green. That's all I do is piss green all day and tell kids to stay oh, on drugs God. while I feed them green liquid that makes my piss turn. God, that's Minotaur was awesome. That movie is awesome. Well, yeah, well, how come Role Models didn't make the list? And I also like him in Forty Year Old Virgin because that's a great movie. And oh, Forty Year Old yeah. Virgin. If I hear Yo- Yamo be there one more time, I'm gonna Yamo burn this place <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of my favorite. Oh my god! Uh, MJ fan put out something with with Michael McDonald, and I pulled out the Yamo B there. <laughs> if I hear Yamo B there one more time, I'm gonna Yamo burn this place to the ground. <laughs> so he's good in those roles. When he plays like all shucksy roles, I don't like him. Okay, that's Friends. Yeah. Um, what's the one with Gary Marshall? Not Gary Marshall, where he's like friend. He oh best friend. My best friend's wedding or something. I love you, man. I love you, man. I like the movie, but he was not my favorite in it. That, that movie was fantastic. Yeah, Marshall, Marshall, Will and Holly name? from what's his Seagal? Jason Siegel yes. is the guy. Not to be mixed with. <laughs> no, was Steven. Oh my God! If Steven and Jason do a movie together, right? Which Seagal Seagal is it? Seagal Seagal or Seagal Seagal? I don't care. With. The third, you know who the third actor would be? Queen Latifah. No, a seagull. <laughs> Duh. How, what the fuck? How do you not know this? Mine, 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 Bark, 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 bark. It stopped. No, it didn't. Oh, it's quieter. Okay. okay. Anyway. Um, Clueless. Clueless is great. What do you, tell me about I Clueless. Love Clueless you t- I know, me too. So tell me about it. What, when's, when's the first time you remember seeing it and what do you think? It was stupid as shit and amazing. It was. Uh, I can't have balls flying on my face. Oh, there, there goes your social, social life. life. Boom. And what's her face? Dash. Stacy Dash. God damn. Stacey she is a cute. Dash. Her black friend. Oh, she's yeah. adorable. And she's like 92 years old in that movie. No way. Bro. Do you, okay. Don't. I don't. You don't need Take to look it up. Take a guess on Stacy. No, I'm going to let you guess Stacy Dash's age while I look it up and we continue. So 
Give me the guess. Read the next one, and I will tell you her age. Um, well, that movie's like twenty years old, right? Yeah. Um, don't worry. Um. Well, keep, go to the next. I'm one. thinking, dude. Oh, okay, bro. Just give me oh a my number, God. man. Twenty four. She is fifty three years old right now. So, so even twenty years ago, she was thirty three. Wow. Playing an eighteen year old. She was wow. still in high school in that movie. Wow. I think she was 30 when that was. I think she was 30. No joke. She looks. Look how young she looks. Yeah, and she's she looks 50 great, fucking dude. three. <sighs> That's beautiful, man. Yeah. Clueless was awesome. Clueless was a great movie. Kudos. That's a good, good, good movie. Shouldn't make this list, but it's a good, good movie. Up next was Legally Blonde. That's a good, bad movie. With Reese. Yeah. That's funny. I don't know any. I don't know any. In good my sorority house, we did like things. I don't remember. I don't know any good one-liners. It's clueless with lawyers in Harvard. Yeah, when her resume was pink and it was perfumed. Yes, and if Alicia Silverstone had graduated high school, she wouldn't have done that. That's what clueless would have become. Yes, that's correct. basically Reese Witherspoon's character. Yeah, and your best friend Luke Wilson was in it as her boyfriend. What are you talking about? I don't Not mean- Owen. Oh, Luke Wilson. God damn it. <laughs> So he was the president in one movie and the Frank lawyer's the boyfriend in the other movie. He was not the president, my friend. Oh, no, he wasn't? No, Terry Crews was a president oh. in Idiocracy. He just came from the from the, I from thought the past. He, I thought he came to be the president. He may, Well, I mean, they they like, I think they like celebrated him, put him on their shoulder. I think he actually went back in time afterward. After okay. He, after he solved the problem, <laughs> like Maria. Oh, dear Lord. It's That's got electrolytes, not, bro. No es posible. But it's got electrolytes. Maria needs electrolytes. <laughs> That's how you solve it. Oh, dear. Oh, man. Ele- anything else on Stupid I, Legally Blonde besides I, it was funny? I have funny. nothing on Legally Blonde. I just know it has Reese Witherspoon. And, and, sure, and her chihuahua. I watched it and it was funny. Yeah. I, I was mildly entertained by that movie. It was, it was great. It was a great, like, like not thinking, waste 90 time 90 Minutes movie. Killer. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Up next, our senior executive, super senior producer, Mary... She had Magic Mike. And Mark is shaking his head. Why the fuck did I talk about Magic Mike earlier? Because you were pre-cogging, bro. Bro. You're pre-cogging the shit out of this. Coyote Ugly Mike. (laughs) I've not watched it. I I know that I own it, and I have not watched it. Why do you own it? I know that I have it, (laughs) but I haven't watched it. I don't know. Somebody gave it to you. Hey, hey, bro. Happy birthday. I, I thought you might want to see some naked dudes. Well, sir, you and I prank each other oh, is that what every I- once in a while. I'm pretty sure I didn't buy that movie. I think I got that for a Christmas present from an ex's like oh. family member. Oh. And it was funny at the time. Okay. And I just couldn't find it in my heart to throw it out. Okay. You want me to throw it out for you? Channing Tatum's ears are like a troll. Okay. He's a troll, bro. He's got a beautiful body. But his, these things, his big ears. No, they're little tiny troll ears. Oh, I, I don't. And it almost looks like he was a wrestler. Like they're little. Oh. But he's got moves. I told you to watch Logan Lucky. I think you should watch that one. That's a good okay one. with Daniel Craig and him and Adam Driver. Yeah. Kylo Ren. <laughs> nice lightsaber, bro. I think we can take him. <laughs> I think we may get rid of the emperor. I don't know. I don't do a well. That wasn't good bad. Kylo Ren. Hello, Ray. I'm really dry. Stop it. Okay. That's because the director sucks. <laughs> up next for Mary was Step Up. Is that a was that a cheerleader movie? I don't. I, I think don't, it all ha- also has Channing Tatum in it. It does not. <laughs> With it doesn't. I don't know. I think it does. I think both Step Up is Julianne Moore in him, and and is Hail Caesar her third one? What no, the that's fu- all she had. Okay. I'm gonna have to IMDb Chan. I, I don't. I don't want. I'm not to doing it right now. Okay. He's not worthy of. He's not worthy of my Google now. Okay. I'm not that drunk. Okay. Although a couple more beers in me. What up, Channing? Channing's ears might not look as troll like. Oh dear God. And his abs. Oh man, I could just, I could just wash all my laundry. You could just put a cheesecake on it. <gasps> mm. Next up is Megzy coming in last. <gasps> Megzy. With Cry Baby. Cry Baby, Johnny Depp movie. Cry Me a River. Damn Skippy. Well, sir, you know, I do actually have one or two. Maybe. 
I have many honorable mentions because of the top fifty. Okay, well, we're not going to do that yet because I'm going to I'm going to share my friend Rob. Sure. So I text Rob. Robzy, I don't know what the fuck he is on here. Is Rob he related Z, to Rob? Bean's sister? He's not. <laughs> Damn um, it! He only knows Bean's sister. Oh, okay. And does not. I don't know if he knows her that well as intimately as we do. So here's a couple things. Go. I say yes. What's your best? Give me your best worst movie. All right. And his response was, he goes, I have to think about it, but immediately what comes to mind is my wife, Amy, who chose without, this is the exact test, without even asking her, Amy loves showgirls. What? Yes. Showgirl. That, that is... That deserves praise, sir. Showgirls. Why does his wife like showgirls? Jesse Spano and Gina Gershon well, and that weirdo Colin Colm weirdo guy. I, he's like the head guy. He's got a weird face, but he's European. I don't. Anyway. I never saw it. Are you going to be okay that I've never N seen showgirls? No, because Gina Gershon and Jesse Spano are on it. I know. Just what's Jesse Spano's real name? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I really. I know. I know that time. Time. I just know that. that? Say by the Bell. remember the Say by the oh. Bell episode where she was on caffeine pills. She ran out of time, oh. and she like get, it was like a drug episode. Oh, I don't remember that. That's a good one. Yeah, she's so hot in that. And Gina Gershon. Mm. I'm gonna mm. go now. It's dirty. <laughs> so then I, so then he said, okay. So then he said, Amy's asking for clarification. What constitutes worse, <sighs> box office or popular opinion? I'm like, bro, your it's your there's opinion, not, right? Thank you. So now Rob comes up with an answer. This is funny. Between 5:07 and 5:47 on Friday, 5:07 and 5:47 40 p.m. Forty minutes. While yes, on fr uh, no on Saturday while we were Halloween because we were going to we record on Sunday. We were going to record on Sunday. Yeah. We had this whole interaction. Then dude goes dark. And I'm not calling him out. It happens. He's got a kid. They probably were doing something. I get a text 24 hours later with his response. He goes, it might be a little late. I'm like, you think? But we <laughs> didn't record, so it worked out great. How about this one? Yes. Transporter 2. Transporter 2. N not the first one. No. Because the, the first one's just good. The second one. Yeah. It's good, bad. Okay. Is it... Mm Aren't most Jason Statham movies poopy-ish? Jason Statham needs to do a cameo <coughs> with Steven Jason Seagal. Yes. The Seagull. The Seagulls. Um, Jean-Claude Van Damme and Nicholas Cage. It sounds like a shitty Expendables. Well, it's just him driving car. He's a transport. He just drives a fucking car around. It's not like... It's, it's not, not challenging? Uh, dude, he does kickflips. I would have thought <laughs> Crank. Did you ever see the movie Crank? Uh... I don't, that was good. I don't. I have it on Blu-ray. You can you can watch it. I like, it's awesome. I've been meaning to watch it for a long. Oh, you've time. not seen it? I don't think so. It's good. I know. It's, it's just like it's like Speed, but without a bus. I get it. It's not. Is reverse speed? It's nothing like Speed. Okay. They're not on a, any vehicle. I know. It's a human. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> if he goes slower than fifty-five, he blows up. Yeah. <laughs> correct. <laughs> yeah, he gets hopped up on some drugs. It's yeah. it's a fucking crazy movie. Did you ever see a movie like Shoot 'Em Up? Did you ever see that one with uh with Clive Owen. It's just gory, like all those types of movies. Like kick kick ass. How is kick ass not on here? Do you ever see kick ass? No. Oh, so good. So and Nicolas Cage is in that. Of course he is. Of course he is. What about like Sin hey, City? Girl. Sin City. It's yeah. It's and, like in that uh, uh, the yeah, the film noir type yes. stuff. Uh Sin City and then the other one. The spirit. No. I think the spirit with Gabriel Macht. From What's, what Suits. about those four or five chicks that go into World War II and they like kick fucking Hitler's ass just from like 10 years ago? And it's uh, Noori. It's kind of got a black and white tinge to it. Oh, shit. And there's like this chick's wearing like a little schoolgirl outfit and she's got like nunchucks and it's in World oh, War boy. II. That's going to. Inglorious Bastards? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Are you the one who knocks? No, it's the baseball bat as he's hitting it oh, and tapping it right shit. before he fucking. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Or is the what Jew a bear? Great movie. Yeah. Yeah, the Jew hunt the Jew killer, right? Jew bear. Jew bear, that's right, the Jew bear. Fuck. What a great movie. Um 
So Transporter 2 is Rob's. That's an excellent, excellent choice. It is choice. an excellent choice. So, and I asked him about my favorite because it kind of is ours as well when okay. he and I talk about it, but we'll talk, we'll share that. Okay. okay. So we've got honorable mansions. Is that where yeah. we go into so the websites? Of, of the 50, well, I put down the first two that popped in my head. I'll save those for last. But of the 50, I'm, I wrote like 12 down that I was like, okay, I have to, we have to mention them. Yeah. And we're going to talk shit about all of them. Well, Sharknado. Move along. It's dumb as fuck. Eye and Zeering. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Uh, Wicker Man from Nicolas Cage. Nick. Spice World with the Spice Girls. <laughs> yeah, but we talk about posh. Well, yeah. She's, she's, she's pretty poshy. She's poshy. Uh, <laughs> she's passionate. Mm. Uh, Showgirls you just mentioned. Showgirls was on there. Nice. Yes, sir. Very well done. Uh, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Which I really like that one. I did that too. That Texas kid goes to Tokyo and learns to spin the cars and shit. One of my favorite parts of that movie is, remember the beginning race where they're driving through the construction and he like jumps something and they all crash? No. So in the beginning, one of the first things, I think they're in high school. Sure. And he's got some shit box, but it's kind of souped up. Something he's always worked on. And it's the oldest son from Tool Time. What the fuck show? Uh, yeah. Home Tim, improvement. Yeah. He's got like a Corvette and they race through the construction right. place and then it crashes and then they both like, cause he's trying to get the girl. He's trying to get like the, the guy's girlfriend. Yeah. And then they're all in the police station and he smiles and he's got like blood all up in his teeth. And he's like, <laughs> Hey girl. <laughs> and it's just blood is just like dripping out. Ugh. And he's trying to look all sexy and it's just disgusting. I love that one. And I love that Vin triple X shows up at the end. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. And Han. I loved Han in that. Right? I, that was a that was underrated. I liked it a lot. Do you want to know what's funny about that one? No. I don't have it on Laserdisc. Fuck off. Would you like to know what I do have it on? VHS. Nope. Even, Even worse. No. Uh wait. The other one. H D D V D. Oh, I was thinking the, the competitor Blu ray that didn't make it. Damn it. And I have it on H D D V D. Why? Why don't you give it why don't you just throw it away? Because I still have an H D D V D player, bro. Do you ever use it? Yes. Lies. I have eyes wide shut. Throw that away. Tokyo Drift. That's okay. I've got I've got a bunch of HD DVDs. Mallrats is HD DVD, my friend. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. See, I always took the non-proprietary route, and this time Sony won, and they shouldn't have won, but they did. So I lost. Bastards. I also lost with laser discs. <laughs> but I still have. Them. Why? Because I watched them. They. You know what it reminds me of when I hear the grinding of the machine. It goes and it starts to play. It just makes me think of back in college, like when, you know, when Elias and Darren were hanging out and Gus Macker and you, and we watched Full Metal Jacket, but we'd only watch the the, the, the first half. Yeah. Because the second half we was just We didn't like the second half. Right. So literally, the disc you have to flip. Yeah. So we would watch it to the end of the first side because that was the end of the training. Yes. None of you dumbasses knows. <coughs> that, yes, Joe Sargent. Oh, God. What a great fucking movie. That's right. From a clock tower up to two hundred feet. Ch any of you guys? Any of you guys know who Charles Whitman is? That's a terrible. It is terrible I drill instructor Lee accent. That was good. No. This is my rifle. This Shh. is my gun. Knock it off. Okay. You. This is the worst movie on all of the lists. Are you ready? No. Yeah. You, I'm not ready. Please, I just, not, not that I'm disagreeing. Please prepare yourself. <sighs> okay. Battlefield Earth. <laughs> that shit. John Travolta, why did you make that movie? That's some poop right there, bro. It actually made another list. What, the poopy poop list? It's like one of the movies that he made the most money on. No way. Yeah. Okay, do you, do you recall who wrote Battlefield Earth? Oh, the guy. Uh, the Scientology guy. L. Ron Hubbard. Yes. And Scientology backed up, back that shit. And he has royalties out the asshole for that movie. I think he made like $50 million or some fucking crazy amount what? just for that fuck. It might have been 10. But there's. The, it might have been 10. <laughs> 50, 10, a Whatever nickel. Whatever it takes. You know? Well, shit. Yeah, but you watch the movie, it's well more than $10 he shouldn't but have But I watched it like on TBS or right. something. Well, this is what's funny. There's a we're we're gonna do a beer googles on it. Um, movies that made a lot of money that were shit. Oh, well, that's a long list. Man. Battlefield Earth didn't make money, but Travolta made out like a fucking monster because he was a Scientologist. 
I didn't hate that as much as people do. God. But it wasn't good. But I just didn't hate it as much. I feel like I feel like it's on the cusp of potential. Absolutely. And they just mm. They just flushed the yeah. toilet with it. Yeah. They summoned right. a shit monster. Yeah, because like it's like Americans are apes and they're getting f- they free they get freed. They free themselves. And then they fly jets. It's really odd. And they start a religion. Yeah, I heard it was called um Scientology. Chemistrology. It was a weird, different one. It wasn't oh, really? Scientology. Yeah, it wasn't Scientology. <laughs> it was, oh, geogra- geography. 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 Geographology. I don't remember it that well. Humani- humanitiesology. Yes. I'm trying to think of anything that's not science. Not Up next, Demolition Man. Guess who has that on Laserdisc? Murder, Death, Kill. I have three, three now on Laserdisc. But Bloodsport's still the worst. Yeah. Demolition Man's one of my favorites. That's really good when they go to Taco Bell. At the Taco Bell. Mm. Dennis Leary's in it. Sandra Bullock. Yeah, Dennis Leary's the bad bad guy underground, but actually he's a good guy. Edgar Friendly. Edgar Friendly. I know um, Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes. Karate Chop. That was was like, what's her name? It's one of her first movies, right? It's got Ben Browder in it. He's does. the one that caught yes, the thumb. Correct. He's the thumb catcher. He's the th- Oh my god, we should just call him the thumb catcher from now on. <laughs> it's like a dream Nobody'll catcher. know what the fuck that means. I know. So Ben Browder. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to IMDB Brent or Julia Roberts' ex husband or husband. I don't know which one it would be, but look him up. His name's Ben No, Ben Bratt. Benjamin Bratt. I keep saying Browder because that's the guy in Farscape. Remember that sci fi ish TV show? Y- yeah. That's the head guy on that, who was later in Stargate SG-1, like after uh, MacGyver left. Okay. Anyway, Benjamin Bratt is the guy about whom I'm talking. He's in that with Sandra Bullock. I thought that, I thought that movie was great. I really liked that wasn't, movie. Was that was one of her first movies, right? I believe it was. Like I believe it was Speed? after Speed. Was wasn't that, it after were, Speed? I don't know, dude. We're going to have to do a chronological lookup. We're not good at research, bro. No, but that's the point. We've got witty banter. We don't need chronological lookups. (laughs) (laughs) We don't need exact. How much do you make? 50 million, 10 million? I don't know, bro. We'll give or take $40 million. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. Well, that's what's fun about this one is that we don't have to do lookups, bro, because we've got another podcast that looks up crazy shit that we fact check before. Sometimes. Yeah, Most of the time. All the time. 60, Next. Only 60% of the time. Is Freddie Prince Jr. Time. And she's all that. No. She's all that. No. She is. Funny how we talked about her in the on the drugs commercial last check time. Check it out now. Funk soul brother. Check it out now. Ursher. Uh, sure, Ursher. Uh, sure. He's a DJ in that. He is. I like that movie when she's I all artsy it. and then she gets all hot at the end. She was always hot, she man. Was they all, do that the to short everybody. Hair. Yeah. Oh my god! That one and Can't Hardly Wait are For two of my love absolute Can't Hardly Wait favorite dude. movies. Love Can't Hardly. Wait. I love Can't Hardly Wait at the end where the shy guy, like Rome, uh, Dire Straits, Romeo and Juliet's playing in the background, and he gets to the train station or whatever he's yeah. at the pool. And she just left because she saw the note. And she threw it out and she's ah, oh, just another oh, asshole. Oh, Jennifer Love Hewitt, uh, the five head. Yeah, she's got a big spot up here she has a head it's like a five head like her hair is combed all i see is her boobs dude. and she's a ghost whisperer too isn't she she is she's, she's like hey ghost are you there ghost housekeeping like do- i never understood the dog whisper because like why would you whisper at dogs you should be yelling at them like be good like shut the fuck up yeah i agree like, stop barking at them stop barking at the palm frond do you think we should have one one podcast where you and I just whisper back and forth for four hours to see if people would stay listening. Yeah. I don't think we should do that. I don't think you could do it. I bet you I could. I bet you. How much do you want to bet? How many minutes do I have to do it? Do you, you just said four hours. No, I'm not going to do four Two hours. hours. Can we do like, what if I, I bet you I can't even do two minutes. No shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I said no We've shit. We got the dog whisper. And the dog barked from outside. Son of a bitch. Up next is Joe Durte. Well, stop. Time what? out. What? You tell me about She's All That. I love I that wanna, fucking Yeah, movie. I know. So tell me about it. Uh, now I got that and can't hardly wait confused. Okay, so She's All That is the artsy one with yeah. Freddie Prinze was the soccer player. Yeah. Denise Richards was no, the girlfriend. It looks like, her, like her. But it, did, it was not her. And it had the weirdo guy who was in Scream. Yeah. 
that was the boyfriend who was like some influencer back in the day. It was like a real world. He was on the real world. He played the puck character. Right. And I can't remember his name, but he's good in stuff. But yeah, he fell off the map so fast. Yeah, he's without a paddle. I think he was in as well with uh, Seth Green and uh, the other perhaps. Guy. But it's a good movie. I mean, I liked it. It's you know, it's coming a, of age. It's film. a typical stupid '90s romantic comedy. I love it. Oh, I, she's cute. Oh, he's cute. Let's go to prom. No, get away. No, but you love me. No, you don't. Eh, fuck off. I love. She's all that. And I thought like, Rachel Lee Cook. Mm. Yes, I forgot her name. She's so cute. Yeah, well, this is her brain on drugs. Remember, you didn't know that either. Uh, this is her brain on drugs. Yes, I forgot With about the pan. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. In that commercial. Next, Joe Dirt. With the amazing, amazing scullet mullet. I liked Joe Dirt. Me I will too. give David Spade some credit for being able to do a movie without Chris Farley. Yeah, true. So, I agree. like, those guys were hand in glove. Like, they were inseparable because they were like Gene Hackman or Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor towards yeah, the end. They right. were. Uh, Dean and Lewis, Martin and Dean. They were, you know, they were all these like pairs, right? Pairs of people. Bert and Ernie. Ben and Jerry. Robert Ducky, you're the one. You're going to have bath time. So much fun. Kermie and Miss Piggy. Well, it's Kermie. They are, they are Henson characters, the Destiny Street guys. Right. You, you know that Henson was doing Ernie. I mean, doing the voice of Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Ducky. Oh, look Ooh. what he just. Oh, that is a. Is that a whoa, that is, is that a scrub brush in my butt? Or are you just happy to see me? Hand up my ass. Hello. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on that last one? Though? I like Joe Dirt. I mean, yeah, I like Joe Dirt. Yeah. I hated that stupid fireworks scene that everybody loves. Jamie Presley was the woman in that. Yes, right? you're my sister. Wow. You're my sister. <laughs> <laughs> I think the problem didn't they do a Joe Dirt too? I think that's where they lost me. Uh, I think they did a Joe Dirt too. I don't want to look. And Kid it up, Rock was terrible. Like he was. Oh god, he was, he was awful. Such a. I'm the bad guy, and I drive a Camaro convertible or whatever the fuck it was. And I steal songs and make them my own. Yeah, all sure. summer long. I mean, I mean, what from Cell Block C or something? All right. Oh my god, Cell Block C. How about Chris Rock in CB4? Oh, it was amazing. I don't. That I don't, is a best worst movie. I don't remember that. Where he like. He's like, straight out of low cast, a crazy motherfucker named Gusto. I fuck your mom because the bitch was a big hoe. I fuck your sister. I fucked your cat. I would have fucked your mom, but the bitch is too fat. It was like straight out of Compton. It was a total I get it. CB4. That's every rap song out today now, dude. Yeah. Well, yeah, straight out of low cash. <laughs> <laughs> What's low cash? You're I low, think that was like their low Compton. Low on cash. Well, that was their Compton name. Like that, low cash was the city from which they in which they resided. It's not a real thing. It's obviously I fictitious. Okay, I'm sorry I asked. What did you think? I I thought they didn't have any money. They were low on cash. They they obviously are. Just like out of Compton, though, they're straight out of low cash. Do you think Compton had money? No. But you're not straight out the trailer. That's um, Kid Rock. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Chris Rock was good. Are you that. done with Joe Dirt? I'm done. I'm done with CB Foe. <laughs> no, Joe Dirt was good. I, I liked it. It's entertaining. It's a good waste of time. Uh, you know what you should do? You should grow six plants thanks to Prop 207. I should. And partake while watching Joe Dirt. And you have some cigar weed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, Joe Dirt. Good call. That's. I'm just reading the internet, bro. <laughs> Wait, are you... I am reading from the internet. Yeah, that's basically what I, I did. I like what you said. You're, you're not reading from it. You're like, I'm reading, reading the, the internet. internet. <laughs> I've reached the end of the internet. What do I do now? Now, the next few make me sad because... They're your favorites. All The, the next six make me sad because I like all of them. <laughs> I bet you I like them too. Pacific Rim. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> we just broke up. Um, I didn't watch two because that's... Don't, just let it die with one. I liked one. I liked Charlie Day in that. Charlie the guy from It's Always Sunny yes. in Philadelphia. Oh. I like the two scientists, yes, right? Yes, the, yeah, 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 the yeah, bearded, yeah. He was great. Yes, very good. I thought that was the best part of that movie. And I thought the special effects were really good. They were. I just felt like it was Godzilla Part 18. It was, and absolutely. It was, it was like Godzilla Mecha Godzilla. But I thought it was, it was a different little, twist on it. Correct. Where they they had to get in the suits together. Yes, and they had the to work tandem. As, the, they had to work as a team to operate the fucking robotic Transformer guy. They had to sink guy. their brains and shit. Yeah. And it has Channing Tatum in it, I think. Doesn't it? Uh, no. Isn't Channing Tatum the main guy in that? I thought the it was the guy? guy from Sons of Anarchy. <gasps> it is that guy. Never mind. I totally fucked yeah, it up. Yeah, and then the second one was the guy from Star Idris, Wars. Idris Elbus, isn't it? No. Isn't it Idris Elba? He was the main 
like the trainer of the first movie. Oh, okay. Not the second one. Right. And he's the guy that got COVID like that and was like, I'm good. Oh, no shit. I didn't he know went, that. Well, he, Idris Elba? He was the sexiest man in off. the world this yes. year. That dude is a fucking sexy beast. Because the accent, <laughs> well, you add in the accent, the skin color, the t- well, his he eyes. Was also in um, that mm. one of my favorite books, the Stephen King book. Uh, shit. I never heard it. Uh, it's a seven part series, The Dark Tower. Oh. God, with Matthew McConaughey. He was in that? Yeah, he was the main character. He was oh, the gunslinger. I have not seen Dark Don't. Tower. It was horrible. Okay. Well, uh, okay. <sighs> so, Pacific Rim. Um, I I will... I, I, I liked it enough to watch it again yeah. and give it a real shot, but it, it was Godzilla. very tready, like re-tready to It's me. totally Godzilla meets Transformers. Yeah, that's kind of where I, I got I totally get it. that. Yeah. But I get what you're saying. Like, I like the extra concepts that he threw in. Right, and I, did, I totally like... You know what you're saying about the... the, the um, what do you call them? The dudes in the coats, scientists. Sorry. Oh yeah, Charlie Jesus Day. Uh, where they got like men- the smart yeah. guys. Yeah, the smart guys making shit work. Oh the my scientists. god, I got brain damage. Dane Bramage. I've got that. Dane too. Bramage. You know that makes me. What makes me think of in a weird way the uh, the end of tomorrow, the edge of tomorrow. Yes. The one with Tom Cruise. The with a replay. The top gun of tomorrow movies. The Top Gun of re, uh, the Top Gun of Groundhog Day. The Top Gun is. of Regurgitation movies. Isn't it Groundhog Day it 2.0? Is. It is. So I don't know why, but I think something about that creature that's under the water remind me of the creature that he swam into later at the oh, end. Oh yeah, it kind of remind me a little bit yeah. of that. I felt like that was a little right, kind of weirdly similar, oddly yeah. similar. But I could be wrong. Yeah. I mean, I probably am wrong. So. Yeah. All right. What do we got? What, Red what Dawn. Laser disc, Mr. Pre- Wait, two thousand whatever version or no, 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 the, no, the original, the original eighty four. Dude, bro, that, that was a great movie. Get up here and piss in the radiator. I'm so mad. That, I hate that that's on there. Once again, Leah Thompson. You're welcome, Leah. Is she the patron saint of, of this good bad podcast. movies along with Nicholas Cage? <laughs> Nicholas Cage she's, and no, Leah Thompson she's are the, the, no. She's the angel of this podcast, and Nicholas Cage is the demon of this podcast. Oh, is she all that? She is, bro. <laughs> She was. No, that's Rachel Lee Cook, bro. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Um, so we I had was like very three, sad that, that three Leah on. Thompson movies. Though? Three. No, is it three? Sure. Well, we had this one. Yeah. Red Dawn, which is on Laserdisc. That's number four that I've had on Laserdisc, by the way. If we're keeping score, uh, we're not. I, I am because I'm really <laughs> kind of proud of that. <laughs> Why can't I be a little proud that it's some fine. of the shittiest movies are on a 12 inch silver platter that I have to flip, and I might have to have more than one of them to put in. <sighs> That's the best worst snore I've ever heard. I was trying to do my first, first oh, name. Anders? I was impersonating my dog. <laughs> wait, and then, wait for, and then, and then, and then. <laughs> my dog can do. Rock Sanders. My dog Anders is the littlest boxer in the world, and he can simultaneously snore and fart. And it's disgusting and hilarious. It's my favorite when I hang out with Chris at his house and. <laughs> Anders happens to be the one sitting next to me. <laughs> Everybody loves you, dude. I want to sit next to T.O. Mark. And <laughs> right there in your face. N- nobody loves me, bro. Rock oh. Sanders. You don't have to snore and fart at the same time. Those days are over. I got you gas sex and a strip <laughs> nose. I'm trying Pretty to cut right back strip. on the cheese I give him, but I am. I'm really, really. You know why you can't cut back on the cheese you give him? Why? Because you can't cut back on the cheese you give yourself. No, and you know you I give really, him some of what you get. I really have cut back a lot. Rocks Good. is fine, but that guy stinks. Anders is. And that's not affecting his snoring. He needs a deep pap machine. <laughs> Dog pap, yeah. Oh, I thought he's got a butt pap machine. A B no, pap. No, D. He needs a B pap. He needs a dog pap. Well, he needs a butt pap. <laughs> he needs a butt <laughs> plug and a D pap. And he, uh, regardless, Red, Red Dawn, Dawn is awesome. Up. Red Dawn. Oh, let's go through it. Patrick Swayze. Charlie Sheen. Yeah. Leah Thompson. Leah Thompson. C. Thomas Howell. Correct. I couldn't think of his name. Yeah. He's the son of the mayor, I think, in that. So the mayor is a big name. And you know him when you saw him. He's yes, been in a I million know, movies. Yeah, I know exactly who you're talking about. Um, I, my, one of my favorite... Great fucking movie. One of my favorite lines is when he's carving all the guys that he's killed into the 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 end of the rifle and the F15 pilot says all that all that anger is going to 
burn you up, you up inside. inside. And he goes, it keeps, it keeps me, warm. me warm at night. And I was mm. like, oh, that's a bad motherfucker, man. And the coming of age of him. Is it, I think that's S. C. Thomas, Thomas Howell, Howell yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he shoots he was the also deer. An Remember, he was a pussy. He was also an outsider's. Right. And he was a pussy. He was also in Soul Man, which no one brought up. Oh, th- but nowadays, you can't talk about that movie. Oh, it's canceled? It, it is. Let me take tanning pills and then try to get a scholarship. What if I had just identified myself as? Can I get away with it? Watch Red Dish. Dawn. Red Dawn. He shoots the deer. He was like a pussy, right? Yeah. Remember, he's like, I just want to go home, guys. Yeah. And he shoots the deer and he drinks the blood and he goes, you're forever changed. Yeah. I watched that scene when I was watching it. I'm like, drink it, Danny. Shit. I think it's Danny, right? I think yeah. he's Danny. And he's, now like, gotta... he's like, now you're a man. Yeah. And, and then you watch him just turn and he is just cold as fuck at the end. Like, to your point, keeps me warm. That goes back to last week's podcast about the weirdest thing you ever ate, where Georgia boy number one, Christopher, deer heart. ate deer heart and liver while he's covered in blood. That's what he it was. He reenacted a scene from Red Dawn. He drank it. He put yeah. it in the cup and drank from the blood, too. And he's like, you, you always drink your first kill. Oh, fuck. It wasn't so bad. That's my favorite part. He said, wasn't so bad. And he says like 15 times. Not so bad. And now, then he's fucking just tearing everyone apart at the end. By the end of it, yeah, he fucking a, is yeah. just a Wolverines. menace. Wolverines! Wolverines! The concentration camp, the re-education camps. Kids, just get out of here, boys. We'll be okay. We're the fence and they're showing the videos and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, would Heartbreak Ridge be on this list? Uh, it's in my Laserdisc collection. But would it be on this list? No. Okay. It is a good... Well, it could be. It could be. Let's talk about Heartbreak Ridge. It's got Mario Peoples in it. I know. He the is... The Swede. S- no. Swede. Uh, Mario Peoples... No, he's not wait, the Swede. Mario it's Peoples the is Stitch Jones. Stitch the Jones. The Ayatollah of Rock and Rock and Rolla. And Clint Eastwood is in it. Fuck. In the main character. If... Smooth as a baby's, smooth as a prom date's thighs, and not quite so risky. <laughs> I wish your pencil was a little duller or whatever. We get him, take him home. I'll show that thing up your ass. We don't get over there. That's my Clint Eastwood. That was, I don't know. Is that okay? Uh, that was okay. Heartbreak Ridge was great, and Heartbreak Ridge, the guy who was his commanding officer, is the main bad guy in Under Siege with yes, with Seagal, Seagal on the train. Yeah. I think it's under siege too. Uh, okay. Yes, because also on laser death. Fuck you. The siege Bro. was on the train. Bro, oh, also on okay, laser death. Fuck. That's that's number six. I'm but just that's not on the list. Well, you said Heartbreak Ridge, and then no, I but brought, Heartbreak Ridge yeah. was that. I just popped in my no, head. No, what, what do you think about Heartbreak Ridge? Tell me. About I love Heartbreak. it. I fucking love it. But that's not on the list. I thought it was a great thing, and it's weird because it was about Granada, right? Correct. It literally was about like the ten people that got killed. Like it was the, the smallest. How we invaded the Marines invaded Grenada. Right, it, it, the, what's the smallest conflict you remember Grenada. Like on TV? Is oh, it the Grenada or the Falkland Islands? Mine's, I got one even smaller than that. Uh, Do you remember when they went after Manuel Noriega in Panama? Yeah, yeah. Four people, four Ameri- four soldiers were killed. Do you remember they just went in were like, bye, and they took them? Yeah. And they also put them in power. Uh, we're such good people, aren't we? Oh, dude, let's anyway. No, Up that next, was a good one. After Red Dawn. Harvard. What's next? Tango and Cash. Tango. I knew you were going to do it. And Cash. The best part of that movie is Terry Hatcher. Fuck yes. Doing the strip tease to the amazing 80s alternative band Yaz in the strip club. Hmm. And then Mr. Russell dressing. Is it only you? What, what, did, they, what did she dance to? What song <sighs> the did song's she called, the, the band's called Yaz, and I hear it. Twi- only you. Not that one, because no. that's their The keyboard song. is so recognizable. It is. Shit, I forget the name of it. Yaz is awesome. And it's dev- it's uh, over the top sister, right? Correct. In that, no Stallone. Yeah, and yes, Russell yes, and Russell's cor- gonna I get, fuck I get, her. I get confused on who's who. Yeah, you're correct. Well, I just know that yeah. Russell was the one that banged her, so I'm yes, assuming that's, that's not his sister. That's correct. That is correct. Terry Hatcher's great. Did you ever see Brain Smasher: A Love Story? No. With Terry Hatcher? No. Thank Andrew, God that was not on any list. Andrew Dice Clay and Terry Hatcher together. That's, I don't. I don't have either of those on laser. Thank Clay. God. You're welcome. But that's a good choice. Tr- that's also reading the internet. Tango and Cash was good, though. No, but it's pretty bad. Those big bulldozers at the end. It was yeah. terrible, dude. I got him in a maze. And yeah, it was me. so bad, dude. But it had you. Yeah, but, but every movie guy. that he's in is bad. City Slickers. You know, I mean, he's... Curly? 
Yeah. Fucking horrible. Bro, he's in Batman. He was great. Yeah, Batman. but Batman's campy as shit. Jack Palance is so he's, good. But all, yes, You're he right. is. You're right. But he's in all these campy movies. Good point. All right. Tango and Cash, what's next? Underworld. She's too hot for it to be a bad movie. I agree. But I could see that. He, I, that can sell, dude. That, I could see all the- Whatever under- outfit she wearing, it's like- it. It, there's no skin like it is on her body but i could see all the other ones being yeah like underworld three yeah like the rise of the lichens and the the, the, mm. the you know i could see those beyond list but the original underworld was good i liked it it's like the original um the one with mila jovovich resident evil the okay. first one's good yeah and then they just retreaded and like just cash grabbed they just added more resident zombies two, and shit? three four yeah what's really interesting about Underworld, yes, is that I completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> when I, when I was gonna Did tell it has to do with Mila Jovovich? No, it has to do with what's her face. Uh, no, lichenism is also not a superpower. <laughs> <laughs> but that's being a werewolf <laughs> you dipshit i was just going back to lichenism bro. i love that word though i know lichenism. Lichen. vampirism lichenism and wolfmanism not superpowers but they allow you to play really good basketball in the mid 80s if you're in high school and, and your name's michael j fox if you're a fox you can be a wolf holy shit no way mind blown fox played a wolf i know Fuck. that's an amazing line get me a keg of beer <laughs> And then he rides on top of the van. Everybody's going <laughs> surfing. That's fucking awesome, dude. Why is Teen Wolf not on here? Because it's a good movie. That was movie. fucking horrible. It was. It was actually he's all, shitty. He's all and, hairy and shit. And Jason Bateman in Teen Wolf, T-O-O. Oh, God, dude. Bro, that one should be. No, that, that was just a bad that's movie. That's just bad. That's just a bad movie. And I love Jason Bateman. Because, see, I like all the Underworlds. Yeah. I mean, after three, I was like, okay, just stop it. Well, I got in, confused. Like, what's going on? Yeah, if you're if you're into like shit blowing up and people attacking each other, like that genre, it's action. It's good. But it, the story to me has to hold up. Right, and this story just it just doesn't. The original one did. The first one did because it was did a story. Rise of the right. Lichens because it was like a prequel right. and didn't have right. her in it, and I like that because it was a story about it you was know, separate. So it was like almost like a set. A, it was a, a totally def- separate like an movie, and I was story. and yeah. I like that. I like that. And too. I've seen that like four fucking times. Like yeah, I don't think Underworld should be on there. I agree. Do you know what it makes me think about? Uh, speaking of female um, action adventure sci fi people, yeah. I know it's fantasy because it's lichenism, but like, do you remember Ultraviolet? Yeah. Good movie. Do you remember Ultraviolet? Or uh, what's the other one? I get them mixed up all the time, but I'll have to think about it. Megaforce, <laughs> a universal soldier. I'm going to shit my pants. Don't do it. Man. <laughs> I don't know no pooping, sir. No pooping. No pooping. It depends. T Bone. Okay, so Underworld, we both agree that it should not be on there. Yes. Okay. The next one should definitely be on there. Would you like to know more? Starship Troopers. It's <sighs> fucking bad, but we it both is love it. The best. We it, both both love it. That should win the award for best worst movie. The best absolute worst movie. Casper fucking Van Deen. <laughs> Denise Richards, uh, Michael Ironsides, Rico's Roughnecks, well, Jake fucking Busey, yeah, the guy with his ma- hand, yes, the guy from Major League Two who couldn't pitch, throw back to the pitcher. He was the catcher that got shot in the head. My helmet's not working. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. dude got hit in the fucking head. My helmet's not working. My helmet's not working. <laughs> hey, gonna mal- we got a malfunction. H two nine two. No, medic. Remember that? I'm going to text you tomorrow. My helmet's not working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that movie shit. is. Oh, Doogie Howser. It's fucking got Doogie yeah, Howser. Doogie all Howser is the colonel. Jesus Christ. That movie's one of the best movies of all times. And I think. All times. Is the Sergeant Kurgan from fucking Highlander? I don't know. Damn, I need to know that. I need to look that up. But not now. I'm not looking it up now. But I think it is. I might look it up while we're talking. But don't look at me when I do it. Um, oh, don't look at me. I'm hideous. Don't look at me. Look. I've shared my love for Starship Troopers. And me I too. Think I, I fucking it on love the, it, dude. I think I took it on the... Did I take I it on the island? You, I don't think either of us took it on the island. Really? We were being serious. You're like, That's good true, fellas, but, godfather, yeah, but, hardcore shit. Mm, Neither of us took something stupid like that. That's a really good one. I could watch that over 
and over again. Planet Z, or whatever planet, the fuck yeah. it was. <laughs> it's a bug planet, <laughs> an ugly planet. <laughs> K, wasn't it planet, planet K? Planet K, yeah. <laughs> Rico, you're dead, bro. Oh, you're dead. Shit. Let's get tattoos. Oh. Oh. Oh, bunch of idiots. Just from above. You guys want to live forever? Yeah. God, I was so terrible and amazing. Would you like to know more? My favorite part is the kids stomping on bugs to do their part. Oh, God, I'm so <laughs> stupid. Stepping on cockroach. What was the one? We keep going back to it. Man sentenced, man sentenced for murder. Uh, execution at 11. Yeah. <laughs> like, whatever, Within 24 whatever. hours, yeah. the guy's dead. Fucking beautiful. It it deserves it. It's it's on there. It's the the best worst movie. Absolutely, I could not agree more. Or less, hands down. Uh, lastly, which I we're just going to skip over because nothing can follow Starship Troopers. Yeah, just say it. Is never been kissed. Yeah, yeah. Anything with Drew Barrymore is pretty much a bad good movie. Sure, and that's all. Fifty first dates. Yeah. Um, Poltergeist. No, E. T. E.T. was her first movie when she was like five. And then she got addicted to heroin. Who's the girl who was there here? Isn't that that's her? Carol Ann, but I don't know the actress's name. Oh, that's, name. Not, that's not Drew Barrymore's no. first? I thought that was her first. Amityville Horror or whatever the hell that was. Poltergeist. No, Poltergeist. That's what it was. I don't know, man. But I do remember. Yeah, Drew Barrymore. Yeah, she's got a talk show now, and it's like, a, it's, ooh. Is it and bad? I like her. Well, like, have you I watched like, it? I want to lean this way, but I'm not on the camera. I watched I watched a, a video of it because it was brought up on the JRE. I don't want to talk about too much about that. Okay. But it was on the JRE, and it was like this one scene. Like, you know how they do, like, the banter? Yeah. It, it's not like you and I, you know? We're just, you and I are like we don't give two a halves. And, well, yeah, but we're like, we bounce off each other and just really play boing, off each other well. Boing, boing. Don't, don't go through the floor. If I go dude. through the floor, I'm, f- dude, I'm blaming you if that happens. That's not, fuck you. Because you, you Murphy's lauded. it. Fuck Murphy. Okay. I didn't like that guy. Yeah, why did we, why did we have never been kissed? That I feel was like on Star- the internet, bro. Yeah. It's not my fault. Starship Troopers, should, we should end with. Okay. But we now have our own. Yes, I so, have, go ahead. You go first. I have two and one honorable mention. I want honorable mentions first. Okay. And I've got probably more than one honorable mention. And I'm just going to, I'm going to do like lightning round with you. I just want your reaction. I'm just going to hit you with like five of them. F- but you you have first. five and I, I have three? No, I've got, I've got five plus my one. Okay. I, I have two and one honorable mention. That's it. Perfect. Let's get your honorable Are mention. Are any of yours already been mentioned? No. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. Adventures of Fort Fairlane. There's poop on the microphone. I already knew it was going to be on your list, dude. It's your worst favorite ever. <laughs> it's not my worst favorite ever. Yeah, it is. Because you, you, there's like semen it on the goddamn wa- laser disc. It was stuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, propobolactics. Look, any movie that has... Um, yeah, we know. No, you don't. What am I going to say? That chick... And nope. The, and the car. Not Lauren Holly. Nope. And the car. Well, the car doesn't. That's a skyline. That's a skyline. That's a galaxy. Ford Galaxy. It's a sexy skyliner. car. It's, it's a sexy you know land many, yacht. By the way, do you know that thing that they did? That thing broke all the time. All that's the time. That's why they stopped making them. Of all the time. One model. One. <laughs> Basically, it's a hard top that goes and then closes behind in the trunk. No, I wasn't even going to say hard and Lauren Holly or anything. I was going to say Tone Loke, bro. Anything oh, that has Tone Loke in it. Oh, shit. You stupid Sal's pizza, garlic prep, melon smelling motherfucker. Funky Cole Medina. Today's the last day to rest your life. Yeah, that's right. That's a direct okay. quote. Okay. Don't ever do that again. I probably will, but I'm sorry. Please don't. I'm waiting for this microphone to blow up in your face again, and you go. <laughs> 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 I don't know how did, how well did you it looks pretty I I was just kidding that was my only one okay I wouldn't do any more to you I've got them but what microphones or movies no movies but I it's ridiculous to okay. even go that far okay we're once again I a know 30 minute podcast let's do the time warp again two hours in ladies and gentlemen but the truth is we enjoy it I w- the feedback I've gotten is people enjoy it so except for that keep except for your troll no, Channing, they just said no. Channing Tatum, your troll. Hey, can you send, can I get podcast recommendations? Hey, would you like to try us? No. <laughs> but, but you asked for general podcast recommendations. You're a nerd. You probably didn't have any friends in high school or college, did you? What? 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 
Okay. What a, what a great audience. <laughs> what, a, what an awful audience. <laughs> All right, what's your, what's your honorable mention? Okay, so... I want your honorable mention, and then I want your... You're going to end it, because I'll go in, and then... I want honorable mention and one of your two, my, and then I'll end it with mine, and then you end it with yours, and we done. Okay. HM. Hit the story time. Do it. Hit it. Yay, me! Story time! So, uh, my ex-wife and I were watching a movie, the Honorable Mention movie, and uh, she, I don't know, whatever, six, seven years ago, whatever, and, uh, yeah, and um, she was a couple of vodka tonics in, and I was a couple of Jack and Cokes in, and we're watching Battleship. Mark is gonna. He, oh my God, he's choking on his beer. He is. Oh, it's gonna come out his nose. Oh my, I'm not kidding. This is fucking rad. <laughs> oh God, oh, God, God, a fucking movie sucks. <laughs> oh. Mm. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking terrible. But I've seen and it. It's got fucking Channing Tatum in it. No, God. it doesn't. No. Battleship? Yes, it. Who's the fucking good guy in that? Not Channing Tatum. God damn it! It's Ooh. got the big Viking guy from True Blood who dies. Spoiler alert! It's got the black dude with no legs. Well, and then it's got uh, tall blonde girl, and then it's not Channing Tatum. I don't know his name. It's got Rihanna in it, doesn't yes. it? Yes, <laughs> she Rihanna is in it. Is she like S and M, or is she like I want you to stay? No, she says Ella, Ella, Ella. <laughs> <laughs> under my under my alien and <laughs> so the point of the story is that towards the end of the movie the aliens come down and they kill anything with power right so the the ships don't move right <laughs> he's shaking his head uh, look i'm gonna be in the shot while you talk this I'm is just... amazing but the the point of the story is amazing okay so just bear with me okay it's gonna be quick i i promise i know take your time Take okay, your time. Okay. I'm so good. towards the end of the movie, the, a skeleton crew gets a World War II battleship because it's all analog. There's no, it can, apparently this movie is so dumb, this battleship can still operate in 2015 or 2010 <laughs> or whatever fucking year this movie was in. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. It's got Liam fucking Neeson in it. Yeah, he was like an admiral or something. Holy fuck. So... <laughs> a guy named Hamish should not ever be named Hamish, but that's all. Well, he's other. Irish. Look at the fucking ears on that guy. Uh, sure, Ooh. he was an alien. Um, so towards the end, they hijack or they don't. They they borrow a World War II battleship, and they're trying to out maneuver the aliens that are taking over outside of Hawaii. And they're super advanced, and they're killing all the humans, blowing up all the ships, blowing up all the airplanes. Obviously. They, you know, the aliens are super advanced technology. So this old battleship, towards the end, they're going full speed ahead, which is, you know, 20, maybe 25 miles an hour at the very most. This is an old ship, right? <laughs> the guy, the, the one of this younger officer that got, gets promoted to captain because we're in an alien war time, drops the anchor and turns the wheel one direction to basically spin the ship no, which is to no. totally Mark's microphone's muted and you can hear him through mine. You can, which basically to spin the ship to get in range of shooting the aliens, right? My ex-wife says, wait for it. Wait, for, this is amazing. She goes, well, the vodka was talking. It may have been Grey Goose that said this. She says this, dude. You can't drift a battleship. <laughs> Maybe he was... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was driven by the guy from it was Tokyo Drift. <laughs> it was driven by the guy from Alabama. <laughs> uh, it was a bit, dude. This the he movie fucking was, crazy Ivan the battleship, right? Isn't that basically he, what he did by dropping anchor and trying to like whip it around? Yeah, right? he dropped anchor one way, oh. did full reverse this way. But the ship is you could do that in a rowboat. <laughs> you can't do that. You know, you're talking a several hundred ton World War II vessel. This it's. Physics dictates that that's not possible. Bro. And my ex, you Bro. can't drift a battleship. Bro. It's true. Go, yes. You couldn't even steer the Titanic around a, not, a barely moving fucking iceberg. <laughs> and you're telling me you can drift a fucking battleship? What are you fucking nuts? 
We already had that. I know, but that's the end of the story. You know what? Oh, now we're you doing do it before it. and after. Are we are we doing a story time book bookend? Yes. I never did that. That's before. the way I always do mine. Oh well, I I now know to I now know to do that for you. I yeah. apologize. My I I'm 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 producing today. Okay. I don't know what I'm producing, but I'm allegedly producing over here with this stuff. Your soundboard. Uh, my hour, honorable mention. Hours. No. Is Battleship. Yeah. Ah. That made me think instantly of a certain gentleman named Aaron Eckhart who was in Battle Los Angeles. Oh, that's pretty bad. Did you watch that piece of shit? That's pretty terrible. That's a pretty fucking bad movie. How come there's all these movies that start with battle that are bad? Yeah. Battle battle raps, battle dance, battle off. Well, Battlefield Los Angeles, Battlefield Earth, Battleship. Holy shit. Or all but, bad. But the TV show, like Battlestar Galactica, is good. It was both. We're amazed balls. They were. We need to do, we need to break down battle. We should do Battlestar Galactica. Not episode by episode, but maybe like season by season or something. Okay. I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, man. Well, watch because again. Because they got all like, uh, Mrs. President, what do you think about that? Oh, oh the they media, got all this human or that. Again? Yeah. I'm like, if you're floating through space trying not to get killed, who gives a fuck what the media has to say? Um, that whole storyline pissed me off. Uh, yeah, if you're in the middle of a pandemic, uh, also, who gives a fuck what the yes, media also, and your politicians have to say? Also that, too. Yeah, yeah. I'm, it's a good point. God Except damn it. that'll start... I mean, but... But damn, that fucking... Be, it's so good. Yeah. So I, fucking I, yeah, good. Yeah, yes, I agree. It's coming from the fracking shit. Yes. I sent you a gif on that today. I saw a GIF? it. It was GIF? lovely. Giffy? Both Giffy? of them. Both. That's it's your honorable mention. Okay. Yes. Now you have two. I have two. Please share your first. No, it's your turn. No, no, I'm going, I only have one left. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to let you end it, but I'm going to go you, then me, then you. If okay. that makes sense. Yes. My number one of two is Roadhouse. Patrick Swayze. Slow clap. Keep talking while I do this because you just, just earned it. That is. I love. It's like the Starship <laughs> Troopers of bouncers. <laughs> With humans only. I just love that movie. Every time it's on, you know, I just, I, I, it's just okay, a great fucking movie where he's a bouncer and doesn't do anything. And then he finally steps in and whips somebody's ass. It's awesome. And Patrick Swayze is a stud, man. What is the one scene that you remember the most of that movie? I have one and it's so obscure and dumb, but I know people would know it when I talk about it. What do you remember? Uh, when Just the band's playing and they're all throwing glass bottles at the... Jeff Healy band, yeah, right? Yeah. Angel Eyes guy. Yeah, he's the blind guitar player. Yep. He plays the guitar. With a slide, like on yeah, the Yeah, like, he doesn't like he play it. He plays a lap guitar, basically. Yes. Uh, and the, they're throwing bud bottles and it's breaking on the chain link fence, which uh, is... No, chicken wire. Is, oh, it's chicken like, wire. Okay. Like uh, Blues Brothers. Yes. That's what it sort of remind me of. Um, great. That's a great one. There's a bunch of scenes like that where a guy pulls a knife and... Mm -hmm. He disarms him like nothing. Sam Elliott shows up and yeah. sells Dodge trucks and beats him ass. <laughs> Sam Elliott's badass and My everything. My name's Sam Elliott. You got to buy Dodge trucks. Dodge kind of Rams. Like Dodge Ram. Oh, okay. May, Yo, I, may I share my favorite Bill part? Four tough? No. No, he's Dodge. Okay. Dodge what's, Ram. What's the Ram motto? Uh, Ram tough. Ram tough. There you <laughs> yeah, go. Dodge Four tough. Chevy tough, Ram tough. They're all the same. They're all it's tough. just tough. Because yeah. the marketing geniuses at these three fucking major car companies in America really are. Really so the, all the, the battle movies suck and all the trucks are tough. True. There you go. Tough trucks. Yeah. And shitty, shitty battle movies. Shitty battle beef movies. Yeah. My favorite part of that movie yes. is the guy who owns this town or whatever is oh. driving down the street and he's just driving like along both sides of the road, not giving a fuck. <laughs> And he's just like listening to music and he's like, la da la. And Swayze's driving and he's just coming right at him and he doesn't fucking move. He just keeps swerving in his way and he fucking pulls off the side of the road. And the guy's just like, la la la, because he runs the fucking town. Like, yeah. the megalomania in that guy well, is beautiful. Yeah. Like, it's so, so psych psychopathic. Yes. Or sociopathic, whichever way. Both. That was my favorite part of that. Allegedly, his, his, the his woman in that the one that Swayze beds the blonde is the director's wife I think like real life wife okay and there's a story about it I'm gonna have to find that story I want to share that maybe next story time okay there's a Roadhouse story time Roadhouse is awesome I agree oh yeah speaking of Jennifer Grey <laughs> <laughs> who's not in Roadhouse well I'm gonna throw one more in here 
you know what? I'll throw one more in here because it wind. Did you ever see the movie wind? No. Matthew McConaughey, not Matthew. McC- Matthew Modine. Yeah. From Full metal Jack Joker. Yes. From Full metal Jack. Yes. And a post nose job, Jennifer gray. I've never seen wind. It's about sailing. Okay. So it tells you how absolutely awful God, any, that's... any action movie about sailing. It's one of my favorite movies actually of all time. No joke. It's called wind, but I should not have. I only said I only had one, so not approved. Wind. Do you want to do your last one, or do you want me to do my last one and then you go? I'll I want. Go. I want you to close it out. You want to close right. it out? My last one. Would you like to close it out? Yeah, or you sure. I don't okay, care. so my this is mine. We have not mentioned it. It's not on the list. I don't know why. We're gonna do it. We've talked about it before. Double H, Hudson Hawk. <laughs> Hudson Hawk <laughs> with Bruce Willis. Oh shit. Andy McDowell. James Coburn, Frank Stallone, because they couldn't afford fucking Sylvester. Yeah, of course. Danny fucking Aiello, Sandra Bernhardt. Oh, my God. Bro, Bro. this movie has got it all. It's about thieves. It's got poop. It's got bad movie vibes. It's got really shitty actors. It's a terrible soundtrack. It's got shitty plot. It's got shitty music. Shitty beef. It's got it all. Shitty chicken. Danny Aiello... And Bruce Willis are bank robbers. Or, I'm sorry, they're just thieves. They're thieves of stuff. They steal whatever. They're not bank robbers, but they steal art. They or also this or that rob idea. banks. Right. They, they do whatever. They're, they're thieves. thieves. They're thieves. Do you know how they time their their, uh, their their heists? No. So you know how most people are like, you got eight minutes to get in here, or like 38 seconds to get from this door to this door, and then you got 10 seconds to go from there. Yeah. There. Okay. Take a guess how they time it. What, what would you use? If you were to time... I would say a... Hello Kitty clock. Like stopwatch? No, like or just a, a clock. Like, just, like, like a, once Hello a, Kitty's a, arm goes around three times. Hello Kitty alarm clock. That is a great guess. Kudos to the guest. Oh, thank you. No, no, no. They d- they decide to sing songs. Oh my god. They're like I'm not okay, gonna watch this. Let's see, eighteen seconds ago. You have not s- it's well, yeah, I've seen it, but it's been twenty years. Bro. bro. That's it. You gotta watch this movie. No. Me. So they're like, hey, it's four minutes fifty three seconds. Swing in a star? <laughs> would you like to swing on a star and they sing and Danny Aiello can't hold a fucking note to save his life at least Bruce Willis did an album at some point but man that movie is just trash and I love it <laughs> it's <laughs> my favorite trash. trash James Cobra it's the one where we got chlamydia thing remember they were oh, yes. all named they were all named candy bars like Kit Kat and whatever and the ones we were venereal diseases how would you like to be called chlamydia for a year <laughs> Fucking gorgeous. Oh, my, my favorite God. movie of all time. And Starship Troopers may have bumped it because that is. Okay. Go. Okay, okay. 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 Your turn. Close it out. Not one Joe Pesci movie on any list. Not one Leap the Weapon movie. My cousin Vinny could probably be a great bad movie, but it's pretty good. It's good. It's just good, good. When she's on the stand Joe. at the end, it was amazing. Maybe Leap the Weapon 3? Yeah, 3 and 4 is not good. All right, my final my final answer, Alex. In the butt is that's, oh, that's a different Bob. show. That's Bob. Yeah, sorry. That's the the, the newlywed game. Uh, my final answer on this podcast is Point Break, another Patrick Swayze movie with Key. Whoa, is is Keanu whoa. here? Whoa. Yeah, when presidents rob banks and shit. Yeah, it's just, and then go surfing. It's a terrible storyline. It is. And Johnny Utah is a horrible actor. A fucking bad name. you know like uh you were in bill and ted's excellent adventure and now you're in this movie as an fbi agent <laughs> with gary Busey. yeah before uh, you became neo before he became amazing and everybody loves him and he's the world's philanthropist and all this shit right paul, paul walker was an fbi agent too yeah on, see on poop. the fast and the fuck all up. poop see yeah. johnny utah <laughs> utah god damn <laughs> They're jumping out of airplanes, surfing and shit for no Point reason. Break was great though. Fuck, it was. Oh, but man. it's fucking dumb. It's so dumb. But I love it. I mean, it's like well, that would remind me of. It wasn't bank robbers. It was just adrenaline junkies. Yes, they love jumping out of planes and surfing, surfing and doing yeah. whatever. Yeah, and robbing banks seemed to be like an adrenaline yeah, rush. I so think, let's just fucking yeah. do it. And they they just the money was an extra. Oh yeah, let them buy beer, you know. Yeah. But and gas for their shitty van. And wasn't for their shitty to buy their shitty beef, yeah, shitty beef, shitty chicken <laughs> shitty for <walk>. sure. 
<laughs> That's it. Point Break. That man. was excellent. Everyone should watch it. It was awesome. Well, well. I don't know how many times I said the S-O word today. I, I was very vigilant. I did not notice at all. I'm going to notice a lot less. I've been really trying to fine tune. I've been trying to fucking curse a lot fucking less too. I'm sorry to your fucking, fucking mom. Failed. I failed. <laughs> failed miserably. When my mom comes, you're going to you're gonna love that story she has to share. Uh, well, this has been another Beer Googles. Googles with the double E's. Double O. And double G's. Yes. Uh, it's got two owls. Both. One with the goat. One with the the beard, well, the goat with a goat. What up? That's greatest of all Thanks, time boo. with a goatee. That is, and uh, yeah, we've done shitty, amazing movies. Best, but worst. What's more important than what we think? What do you think, Twitter world? Twitter world. That's you guys. Leave a comment. Um, well, before you do that, you have to kind of follow us, subscribe. subscribe. Download, review, download, rate, review, all stars that stuff. and shit. Please do. We today we crested fifty six hundred, so we're we're averaging about fifty downloads a day. I am a, a, over the moon about that. That's pretty fucking. Good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like which is gracias. We are having so much fun with these, and every once in a while, except here's for some, Hudson Hawk. Fuck that guy. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Fort Fairlane. <laughs> <laughs> But um, we're having so much fun, and then and then we I get a random. Do you get random texts like out of the blue? Like yeah, I can't today. believe you fucking said that, Felicia. Yeah. Oh yeah, just out of the blue is like, and <laughs> we said something stupid, and then I just get some Twitter thing, a message like, you said this. <laughs> and it's like <laughs> it's this the thing with the thing, and I'm like, yeah, we're a bunch of fucking morons who just have fun. Can you just let us have fun? We're not. We don't mean anything by what we say, except for the serious ones, and Starship Troopers. Yeah, we're in serious the, that the Starship Troopers is awesome. It is like the best. It's terrible, but I love it. I, I, I would like to know more. I, you know what? Would you like to know more? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Starship Troopers. Thank you, Doogie Howser. Uh, what is it? Uh, service guarantees citizenship. citizenship. Um, did Backdoor Commodore have any? I he did not respond. We need to talk to him soon about some yeah, serious I gotta stuff. Text him. We gotta get him on. We got we gotta come up with questions. Those are all I've, bro. I've honed my questions about that stuff forever. Okay. Oh, I'm being wow. super coy right now. So sorry, everybody. This has been Dear another Googles. check Googles. <laughs> check. Mr. Christopher, thank you, sir. Peace, bro. Peace out. The, no more fucking politics for four years. Thank Yay! fucking God. Go us. I'm probably two years. Yeah, it'll happen when, again. When Martha McSally tries to run again for her third time and fails. Um, <clears throat> but I digress. Uh, that's been it. Yeah. That's pretty much it, right? Are we closing out? I don't know. What else you got oh, to say? Well, you always have something to say. I do. I do. Oh, yes. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. 